All right. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Who's Taking Watch? The Dragon's Might. My name is Brad, and I am your DM for this arc set in the world of Robert Jordan's The Wheel of Time. Who do I got with me? My name is Zach, and I'll be playing Dirk today. My name is Victor, and I'm playing Lior, as always. <laughs> <laughs> you fully said Dirk. No, <laughs> for sure with a K. No, you did it. My name is Michelle, and I'll be playing Tala. And I'm Marty, and I'm playing Paige. Wow, wow, <laughs> wow. Just playing Dirk today, I think, just is the today. strong just, choice. Just today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could change it up at any time. But <laughs> bravely, you play yeah. the same character. Uh, well, welcome back for those who have joined us before, or welcome on board if you're just joining us now. Uh... Who's Taking Watch is a anthology D&D actual play show where this group of friends uh, bring each other along in some of our favorite worlds of fiction, be they books or honestly, it's probably mostly going to be books, but maybe we'll do some <laughs> other stuff. Uh, and I'm excited to be leading uh, my friends in the world of The Wheel of Time, which I hesitantly called the Westlands last time and was relieved to find out that is true. Uh, um you can catch the previous episodes of our show at our YouTube channel at the link right down below. Uh, <laughs> why? Why? And I'm trying to be good. I'm trying to be good. It was great. And you can catch our next episode airing next Tuesday at 7 p.m. Eastern time with the podcast format shortly following that on the Wednesday. We got a lot of stuff to get to because oh, yeah. we play this game at a breakneck pace. <laughs> so I think I don't want to waste en truly any more time. So we're going to go ahead and turn the page and enter the next chapter of Who's Taking Watch? The Dragon's Might. Shopping edition. Wow. No! <laughs> <laughs> Last time we met up, this group had just finished up a big long day of building a wall. A day that went shockingly well, actually. Uh, did, did quite well, got the troops rallied, all the refugees that are currently housed in the city of Jahanna to cooperate and really come together under the leadership of Lior, who was maybe a little bit hesitant in terms of physical labor, but an expert at wall building. And among those people were three somewhat suspicious folks who asked maybe too many questions of you. And after Paige had obtained some information using her special gift of the voices that she can sort of conduct in a manner that uh, benefits her, you guys got information that maybe it would be worth checking out the Western Wall, which had already been patched up, and although it was, you know, not visually appealing, it looked all right. And plus, it's always worth going there because we got to watch an incredibly <laughs> charismatic version of Dirk uh, just fully falling for an old lady, I want to say. I think, uh, mm -hmm. I don't want to put words in your mouth. No, but, no, totally uh, won me over. Yeah, 100%. So uh, yeah. Dirk and Gertrude figure out the couple name. We got a little bit of time. <laughs> uh, you guys went to the Furtive Frog, the inn that was housing all of these refugees, to try and get more information with a clever ruse of trying to make it seem as if Dirk was on the outs from the group. And it worked really well. Like, really well. Like, Dirk was maybe a little bit on the inside worried if he was actually on the outs with the group. <laughs> but because it went so well, you got to have a conversation with two of these folks who had seemed suspicious, who told you that maybe they could meet you the next night with their supervisor, who could give you some work that maybe would be distasteful for a good king's man. 
after Dirk left in a huff, uh, a night of dancing was had where Tal danced with uh, this uh, taller blonde man who had been posted up by the fire pit, uh, a man who identified himself as Ron and who Tal figured out quite quickly did not seem to actually be a native citizen of Gildane, as he had claimed. And Paige danced with a gentleman with an accent not unfamiliar and not dissimilar to her own. A man by the name of Brodeen, who just seemed to be on somewhat of a long journey and, and some, some, some form of distancing from his past in Tanchico. After the night, you guys tried to figure out what was going on and where these threads would be leading, including what was going on with the mysterious figure of Firebug that Paige had overheard. The next day, you monitored the situation while working, while Dirk, on his own, cleverly maintaining the ruse that you were on the outs, went to visit your Uncle Halden, and in a moment of trust, told him that you were being followed by the White Cloaks. Halden immediately changed his tone and in a state of worry, promised you that he could get you arrangements to leave the city by the next morning. Elsewhere, you guys completed your work. The tall blonde man named Ron was not present, and nor were the three question questioning individuals. Questionable works also, actually, in this case, so we're just going to go with, <laughs> go back and edit that right later. Uh... But Brodine was, and Lior tried to get an answer out of him by cleverly screaming uh, the words fire and bug together, but seemingly did not get much of a response. The job completed, Tal's brother Julian brought you to the Jaheda Palace, where you met with Captain Felix Millen, also Tal's brother. Or should I say Tala's brother? Because once again, Tala was trying to get the cooperation of a brother in the military in an attempt to join the Legion of the Wall. Dense. They're so dense. So dense. So dense. And I think so dense that he needed a second to think, which is why he sent the three of you on your way to the Jaheda Library, hmm. where Lior's long-standing Ogier payment tradition of one book from the library would be observed. And that is where we pick up now, as a vast array of stacks lie before you. Truly just a mind-boggling amount of books. And you can see that there is organization sections that are marked history, sections that are marked adventure, sections that are marked technology. And Lady Paricia Lauren turns to you, Lior, and says, Now the same rules as usual do apply. You have one hour to peruse the stacks, and you may walk away with any book that you wish. Uh, unfortunately, that is just one book for uh, Master Ogier that you are accompanied with, but you are welcome to search on your own or help him in his searches as much as you wish. I shall leave you to it. Enjoy. What if we find two books? I'm afraid that only one book is allowed as a rental from the Ogier. <sighs> Lior, you know uh, rental is maybe... Ogier have a different idea of late fees. <laughs> we'll give it back. That's not true, too. Right, right, yeah. right. Yeah, in your steading, there's just, like, a whole list of things. Like, we probably got another three decades on this one. Uh, yeah, and she uh, says, I trust you'll find everything as you need it. We are very clearly labeled here, and we do have librarians on staff, so mm. cheers. I have matters to attend to. And she turns and sweeps out of the room leaving you to your own devices as a very loud thump comes from a desk next to you and a very stern looking man with really pinched off spectacles and a that kind of expression flips the biggest hourglass in the world on the desk and goes time <laughs> disconcerting but isn't it amazing I mean I've never been in a library before well what are you waiting for Let's get started. I mean, uh, oof, which, where should we start is the real question. Hmm. The beginner section? Um, right. You mentioned something about the letters. Uh, well, you know, libraries hold all type of secrets. There might be a picture book or two. 
books. Maybe we can get some picture books, maybe. I don't know. I'm going to look for the secrets. Okay, sorry. I, I thought it was a... I was trying to adapt, make it <laughs> family-friendly, but that's all right. Um, let's, uh... Should we talk about what, uh, what we should be looking for here? What would best help us? Well, I... An hour goes by quick, so, um... Perhaps we not dilly-dally too long in discussion, but personally, I mentioned that I had more work to do in the north. I will probably try to find something that could help me in that regard. All right. That what sounds... work are you doing? It was you who so uh, pushily uh, pressed for an answer. It, it's the Waygates. Uh, oh, all. yeah, the Waygates. Yeah. Yep. I'm glad you forget, because I'm sure Paige has not. So, um, at least that's one less person to worry about. I don't. I don't even know what a wig it is. So it's fine. What I'm going to look for um, is perhaps something about, you know, maybe men who channel about, you know, learn more about low gain and the other men who channel that anyone might know. Um, what mm-hmm. say you about that? Is that a uh, that could be a valuable information, yeah. definitely. Especially uh, with the... Just going to make sure that I am shielding Paige from the uh, uh, view of the uh, fellow with the hourglass, the librarian. Okay. Uh, I assume they would be talking low, being in a library. Yes, but also being in a library, it's very quiet. Mm, but you're right, you're correct. So I am going to ask you to make a stealth check. Every you're, time, Radley. You're the one that's doing the sneakery. <laughs> I'm... I trying I, to be a wall. How I is that sneaky? Like, I would like to help if I may. And the Don't way punch I help him in the face. is <laughs> I go up to the librarian and I say, "Excuse me, can you tell me where the secrets are?" That's very good. Okay, you have advantage. Yeah. <laughs> That's better than my idea. Hey, it's a uh, seventeen. I was gonna say, Ooh. was it helpful advantage? <laughs> it, it, okay, indeed. Snakes are us. Here we are. Uh, you see, as you start huddling, you very conspicuously look over to the librarian as Paige starts talking about what she's looking for, and the librarian's looking at you when you pop up in his field of vision. <laughs> <laughs> ah, what is it you want? I, I've been told there are secrets in libraries. Can you show me the secrets, please? Unfortunately, that would be in the restricted section, although one could argue that every book has a secret only beholden to its reader. There's a restricted section? Of course there's a restricted section. What kind of self-respecting library in a fantastical world wouldn't have a restricted section? (laughs) Is it open to Lior? Because he was told that he was allowed to peruse for an hour and choose any book. Unfortunately, it is not. The restricted section is under very specific access only. Hmm. Studies from the White Tower, perhaps, or other agreeable uh, palatial residents. Okay, so there might be secrets in the restricted section that I'm not allowed to go into. Every book has a restricted section, but I'm not very good at reading. So, every book has a restricted section. <laughs> every book has a secret. <laughs> <laughs> I, was like, I like your interpretation One could of argue that, that a restricted section, a secret is a restricted section of the mind. So just <laughs> theoretically, mm. this library doesn't yes. have any secrets outside of the books and the, restrict, the restricted section, but if a library were to have secrets, you know, somewhere else, where might be they? Where might they be hidden? I don't fully understand the level of metaphor that we're speaking on. I'm picturing, like, you know, you like pull a rope and a magical door appears. Like, what sort of things like that would you find in a library? Uh, you're talking about fanciful things like magic. That's, oh. you will notice that everything is very neatly itemized. And he pulls out, like, a uh, like binder that is full of index cards. He's like, you see, there is no room for whimsy or There's... fanciful activity here because we must have itemized lists. There's no, like, bookshelf on hinges where if you pull it, there's, like, a secret reading room behind it? No! Ugh. Inside check. You can make an inside check. <laughs> God! <laughs> it's a two for a total of 11. Getting him up. Whoa, getting him up. What? <laughs> Every time, Zach. I was going to say, you have not seen really a successful insight yet. One day. Maybe the hidden sneaky lounge room is the restricted section. Mm-hmm. You'll never know. You'll never know. So what are you guys looking for? Right, well, um, 
uh, you can start on that. I will uh, uh, do my cell, my own research. Um, we reconvene, perhaps? Sure, yeah. And, you know, just for fun, Tal, feel free to explore. Paige, let's split. And I'm just going to walk in an opposite direction from Paige uh, to make sure that the librarian has to pick if he wants to uh, keep us both in, in sight. I'm going to go the third direction and immediately start looking for the restricted section. <laughs> sure. You make me so proud. <laughs> Very good. Uh, uh, I'd like each of you to make a investigation. But for Leo, it's going to be insight. <laughs> Is there an independent index card system or do we have to go to the librarian? No, like like I said, there there are sections that are marked... Like oh, yeah. geography <laughs> or history or, you know, different things of that nature. Um, 19. 20. What are we looking at? Uh, what's Investigation. The, uh, investi- uh, yeah. That is 14. 14, okay. I rolled a 19. I have plus zero. Yeah. Nice. You do manage to find the restricted section. You walk by first uh, a section with a brightly colored couch with, uh, like, many different colored, really bright cushions uh, and shorter chairs and a short table. I look uh, under the cushions for any secrets. Uh, you don't see any secrets. You do see a book with what looks like a dog on it that says Sea Sport Walk. Uh, uh, and you quickly realize that you found the children's section. Gotcha. But somewhat strangely, behind the children's section, further away, there is a section that is partitioned off with a, uh, not like a locked gate or anything like that, but it's... It's blocked off, and it says restricted. And the librarian looking at you goes, Ahem. Children section. I'm I'm still learning how to read. Oh. Then asking for the restricted section might have been a little bit above your means. Hmm? I didn't ask for it. I asked for secrets, and you said there's a restricted section. Don't throw my logic back against me. <laughs> how can I be re- expected to remember what I said three minutes ago? <laughs> I'm gonna like plop down on the floor. It's like C sp, spo, sport. sport sport. Thank you. <laughs> Run. That's it. Walk. I'm, I'm walk. My walk. bad. <laughs> <laughs> I was just about to say I'm really good with the three letter words. Walk. 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 Walk? No, in fairness, that's a weird one. Walk. <laughs> you don't do... No. But there's an L. No, it's... You say it much like the Japanese... <laughs> <laughs> and he, he kind of hangs out with you for a little bit. Cool <laughs> and he just helps me how to read, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Uh, with a 14, and you were looking for books on male channeling? Uh, oh. Yes, like a, a general <laughs> analysis of role. male channelers. <laughs> Um, uh, you see that the only references that you can find to it are, like, in terms of history of, and then, of course, there was the breaking of the world when male Aes Sedai, uh, affected, afflicted by the taint, lost control and destroyed the land as we know it. It took generations to rebuild. The only references you can find that are that are there are surface level. All right, it's nothing like the average time for the madness to set in is this. It has been observed that more channeling involves a faster degrading of the mind, uh, things um, like that. Um, I think that you would know that it uh, it is a pretty taboo subject. Yes. So I have to go to the restricted sections, which is yes. And, um, I think you know from overhearing before that you might be able to get into the restricted section from hearing what was said before. Perfect. With a 20? Mm-hmm. Nat 20? No, it was 19 plus 1. Okay, well, now it's bad. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, with a 20, and you're looking for uh, information on the ways? Yes. Uh, anything specific on the ways? Because you would already have a fairly solid base of knowledge about the ways. Sure. Anything regarding potential instabilities or dangers that... Because I'm going to the ways knowing that there is perhaps activity around it. and just trying sure. to prepare myself for, uh, you know, uh, possible 
problems with it. So we're looking for anything that could uh, pertain to that. Okay, uh, you do find a shelf that says Ogier Studies, um, uh, and you find a book uh, entitled uh, Travels and Tribulations of the Wandering Folk. And uh, the, sub, the subtitle is My Time Outside by, like... <laughs> John, son of Dave, son of Tom, son of like a million, a million, a million uh, sons of. Um, and it's a huge book, very big tome. But you are able to flip to a certain section that speaks of instability. And you see largely what you know already. You see that the ways were once a bright passage where distance was seemingly condensed and uh, almost like corkscrewed the way that uh, you were able to access different locations. You could uh, walk along a spiral that took you only upward to where you're merely one floor above where you were previously and yet emerge from there a hundred leagues to the west. Mm. But at a certain point some time ago uh, the bright light within began to cloud over and then as if there was a thunderstorm and then grow dark uh, pieces of the road within the ways began to erode and some of the last few travelers who delved in spoke of an intense feeling of being watched, weirdly, even though they were in disuse, and uh, of of a fierce wind, which you remember hearing of. A wind that started out as a whisper, and at its worst becomes the combination of every scream there has ever been. And the entry in the book simply says, It is unwise to pursue this subject any further. As much as my people have a love of study, we must also have a love for our sanity and for containing what should not be let out. Period. Mm -hmm. Understood. I would like to go once I realize that there's not much for me in the way of mm -hmm. information on the subject I'm going to go back to the uh, the front desk yeah. I'm going to wait for the clerk to finish um, circle time with mm -hmm. Tal yes and um, rude <laughs> I'm going to uh, say excuse me I would like uh, some help with uh, finding a certain book ah uh, yes of course what can I get for you um, I'm looking for a specific tome uh, of a subject of import, especially during these times. Hmm. Um, is there any comprehensive analyses on the uh, the nature of male channelers? I'm afraid, my dear, that such analyses are dangerous knowledge, especially in the times that we find ourselves in, in, in this country, as you understand, and they are bound within the restricted section, uh, so unfortunately you will not be able to access those. I will pull out the ring discreetly and say, I believe I may have something that would fall under your um, rules, in order to access this. And I will discreetly show it. I will close my hands again. Sure, and what ring is this? This is the serpent ring from my belt. Okay, so you pull out a golden ring. You roll when I tell you to roll, <laughs> Michelle. <laughs> you pull out... He sports it. You pull out a golden ring uh, that uh, this clerk looks down with some shock and sees the iconic image of the Ouroboros, a snake that is eating itself, winding its way around your... It would be your finger without end. Uh, and I would like you to make a deception check for me. Uh, 
Is a 17. How about the okay. long, long, long. <laughs> uh, spicy dice. It only rules 12s. <laughs> <laughs> but he has a plus 20 to it's No. <laughs> Uh, he looks at you as you take out the book, and you clearly making a show of it being discreet and putting it back. He looks back and goes, Ah, oh, um, yes, of course. I, I believe we might be able to make an exception in your case. Um, would you like to make sure that your companions are not looking as you enter? Or? Aren't I, like, right there? I think uh, Martin had mentioned that he was waiting for the clerk to come back to the front oh, okay. desk. Okay, got you. Yeah, yeah, got yeah, you, yeah, got yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I thought I was there. Now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Indeed, discretion would be appreciated. Wonderful. Then right this way, and he makes sure. Uh, Tal, are, are you sort of just spending the time there, or are you looking for cruising around looking for something else? As soon as he leaves, I'm looking for secrets. Okay, make me an investigation check <laughs> for secrets. You can't read the word restricted, so technically, you don't know you're breaking rules. Eleven. Eleven. You uh, wander over to a um, b- b- section that has a big word that big words on the uh, cover of it, um, and it says "artifacts of power," and it looks like it has like a glowing. A uh, little porcelain figure of a woman with a hand raised, uh, and uh, behind that is the symbol of the Aes Sedai. Um, and within the book, you, if, with the time that you have to puzzle out as much as you can, you see that there are different things, and of course, there are uh, some people who channel use items that can heighten their ability to channel, like make them stronger for that moment. There are some that use weapons that long, long ago uh, were forged with the one power and more indestructible. And even more strange than that, there are some things that don't really seem to require use of the one power, but just do something strange that just have, like, strange effects. And it it runs the gamut from, like, doors that will take you to other places, to a bowl that will make out a chime every time that your soup is cooled down enough to eat. Uh, Really strange applications for these things. And I think there are a lot of pictures within it, which is why you might get drawn to it. Mm. Uh, But I think it's just a fascinating read. Are there any weapons in that in that section where the person who's wielding it doesn't have the one power, but the weapon has some sort of? Certainly, certainly. You see a lot of swords with uh, herons etched into them. Uh, that seems to be a particularly frequent uh, uh, denotation of of excellence. And when you see that, you actually think of a time back. Oh gosh, years ago, when Byron, your mentor, had newly arrived to your little farm and was training with you and you saw a heron etched into the scabbard of the sword that he bore and you asked, what's that? And he just answered, I don't want to talk about that. And ever since then, you saw it wrapped up with cloth and didn't think of it much but it looks like he had some crazy sword. Byron, you rascal! That's the book you find. Cool. I don't see any weapons that look like Dirk's, do I? Nope. Cool. No, nope. Dirk's got a little sword. Kind of finesse, for lack of a better word. <laughs> uh, you are led into the restricted section page, and he goes... Of course, uh, the shelf that you'll be looking for is right here, and might I recommend, and he says, literally, a comprehensive guide to male channelers and their pitfalls. <laughs> <laughs> it's not an uh, elegantly titled book, but it's not an elegant subject. Very succinct. 
I will try that one, yes. Thank you. Within the book, uh, he, he leaves you within there and, and closes off the, the section so that you have privacy. Uh, there is a candle lit that you can see. Within the book, you see just an alarming study of what happens. It starts out, and for a time, it seems, someone can seem normal. And it's hard to have a comprehensive study of just what happens to these patients because they're afflicted with madness, but only the patient can truly reveal what that madness entails. And by the time that it's noticeable, they are rarely in a state to communicate effectively. Now, of course, the best common practice and the reason for the whole existence of the Red Aja of the Aes Sedai is to try and track down these instances where a man lifted a, 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 a horse off of his fallen child when he previously didn't have the strength to do so, or when a farm that was struggling with drought suddenly had just enough rain to make everything grow out of nowhere with no reasoning for the weather patterns and they try and track them down and will put an end to what their suffering is and remove their access from the one power the unfortunate thing for all parties involved if that does not happen is that their power continues to grow as does their distancing from the world of the sane. And this madness eventually afflicts the body with a wasting disease that none have really explained other than some sort of terrible side effect of the taint that men were cursed with after Luce there and Telemond and his hundred companions sealed the Dark One away. But body parts begin falling off first first a fingernail and then a finger and some some most are rarely around long enough or f unchecked long enough to reach there but there have been tales of men with smiles on their faces with half an arm left causing the earth to shake is there any indication of how much time passes between the first Sim physical symptom like body parts falling off or um, mainly that's a very visual one is there a time lapse between that and the end or a loss of control it seems to vary okay. it seems that <clears throat> make an investigation check for me on this sure. as you're as you're reading through the book looking for the right part it's a 12 it's a 12 yeah uh, it seems that it does vary. Um, it looks like places where there is prior knowledge of of, of channeling helps. Uh, most cases where it is a simple farmer look like they don't end super well. Uh, you think back to uh, uh, Stellan, the deranged uh, young man who you encountered in your first day with this group. And, and hearing a story from his cousin who said he was very normal and then all of a sudden he got careless and from careless to him cackling and, and fully losing himself seemed to be a matter if not of months of weeks um, but it seems like from what you can gather that prior knowledge helps Okay, is there anything that any cases where prior knowledge has led or given the opportunity to someone um, to then find different ways of slowing it down or controlling the symptoms or any case studies of someone who's discovered this and then actively taken a role in stopping it or s slowing it down and been successful? Slowing it down is a difficult term because in the most rapid onset, this could be started and ended for a person within a matter of five or six months. Some seem to have managed for, if they're lucky, two years. Incredibly, I think, what you're beginning to notice is that Loghain Ablar declared himself the Dragon Reborn already several years ago and was in exile for a minimum of two or three years, which had to have meant that he knew he could channel before then. 
and he seems to be at this point, yes, waging a war, but still competent enough to be the figurehead of an army. So he's been in power for, you said, two to three years? So not in power. He was a, So Loghain so, Ablar was a, a former lord of Gildan, right? That's right. He, he, he was a noble of came Gildan. Came out as the Dragon Reborn. Essentially, yeah. yes. Okay. He declared himself the Dragon Reborn. The king, King Johannan, revoked all his titles and lands and privileges. Yeah. Was in exile for years before beginning his rebellion. Ah, oh, for years. And oh, so right. that is remarkable. Got it. That is remarkable. Perhaps not unprecedented, but so rarely less than once in a generation all right yeah i think that would be what you would find in the time that you have okay all right um perfect i think with that time it would be close to time for you guys to reconvene and decide what you're checking out Mm mm-hmm well find any secrets there was a restricted section but i wasn't allowed in Mm. i think it's ridiculous to Lock knowledge behind rules like that. I think everyone should have access. Agreed. <sighs> it took me a good 15 minutes to sound out the word artifact, but I did it. That is impressive. What type of artifacts did you see? All sorts of things. Things that, that you can put the one power into and things that people can use to make the one power stronger and and things that don't seem to have the one power, but don't work the way they ought to, and... That yeah. sounds interesting. Mm-hmm. Dangerous. Wow. Mm-hmm. Very nice. Mm-hmm. Um, I wasn't able to find anything um, that we may take with us. Were you able to find anything interesting? Uh, hmm. I, I, I've, I looked into the way gates. Uh, they... Well, let's let's hope that we don't have to go in them. I'll say that much. There seems to be problems there. And, uh, well, perhaps we talk about it a bit more later, shall we? All right. Um, which do we... Did what? you take the book? Uh, I was uh, de- trying to figure out if um, it was worth it. Uh, Ahem. And he points to the hourglass, which has about two minutes left. Two minutes of real time for you guys. Oof, okay. Uh, I mean, it is a lot of things that Ogi already know, but it's more that I didn't necessarily know what I, what type of uh, problem I was walking into. But uh, I feel my mother would perhaps be disappointed if I took this one back. Uh, not exactly new knowledge. Um, that... This one says artifact on it. Oh, that could be interesting. Uh, hmm, two minutes. Do we have time to look for something on the illuminators? And their little schemes. Um, you can roll me an investigation check with disadvantage if you really want to. All you guys could roll me an investigation check with disadvantage if you really want to. I will look for a book that starts with ill. What I might do is... <laughs> I, <laughs> yeah. I will you. ask the guy, do you have anything on the Illuminators? Perhaps a study... And then just try and filibust to get more than two minutes? No, he's yeah. pointing at an hourglass <laughs> that's could running you, out. Could, ah. Martin, you have one minute left. <laughs> Eight. Eight? <laughs> Uh, it's dead. Yeah, uh, you find a book and excitedly run back to Lior, and it says uh, illnesses <laughs> of the digestive system. Uh, Is this it? I rolled an eleven. I'm going to reroll oh, with my magical guidance. Interesting. Did you roll with disadvantage? No, but I did now, and I got a three. Okay. So I'm going to. Can I re- go? You Ten. have so little time. Ten. Ten. You don't find anything. Oh. That's a 15, a natural 20, and a 15, uh, and a 14 plus 1. Uh, you quickly go up to a stack that says Illuminate. Oh, correct. You grab a, a book off of the shelf that says Illuminate. Is there anything about the word Illuminator in the, on the on spot? The spot. Time's up. I got this one. It says illuminate. Uh, uh, we'll stick with the odd facts. I don't know. That seems like a risk. <laughs> Which book will it be? Your time has ended. Can he read the title of the book he grabbed? We are very interested in picking one of these two. Do you have a brief synopsis of this? <laughs> Absolutely not. You've had one hour and you chose to use that time. I have other things I'd like to do and other people I'd like to talk to. <laughs> <laughs> We'll look around the libraries. I can see that. Um, maybe you're right. Maybe the artifacts are the same. Wonderful choice. Great pictures in that book. 
I thought so. Well, we'll loan this to your people and try to find another copy for ourselves. But thank you for visiting. Generous. Thank Good you very day. much. Good day. And you don't realize it, but he has been walking you to the doors, <laughs> like yeah. just like the way, just very non-threateningly. But good day, good day, and does slam a f- door in your faces that you did not realize you were in front of. <laughs> All uh, right. Just you, lay a hand on it. We will meet again. <laughs> give you the book. Oh, well, good work, Tal. Uh, pretty pictures. You guys start to walk your way down the hall uh, and and are on your way out when, Tal, you realize that you were supposed to have a meeting with Felix. Oh, shoot! I'll run. Yeah, well, you're walking by the war room, basically, oh, when you have this thought. I'll pop my head in. No. We're going to come back to that in a minute. Oh, man. Are you sure? Zachary. <laughs> <laughs> you can easily do that one instead. Zachary. You, I believe, had mentioned that you were planning on going and just canvassing places because you have a meeting tonight. I've got a meeting tonight. It so is still the afternoon. My goal was just to kind of, from a distance, from a distance, um, just canvas chapstacks, sharp chap chapstacks, to see like if he's leaving or going or if anybody that I recognize from like the wall is going to be there. I'll stay there for like an hour or two and then go back to the bar. Cool, cool. Um, because this is detective work, I'll let you do either perception or investigation. Yes. <laughs> I know it's like investigating in a perceptive way, but I just think it's kind of fun. <laughs> Go for green. No, that wasn't it. Seven. <laughs> Seven. Oh, you find a spot, and at first you're like, this is a great spot. Mm-hmm. And then you hear... <clears throat> And you look, and Chapstacks is right next to the sharp shear, and you see Halden in the doorway of the sharp shear looking and going, Right, uh, sorry. And, yeah, I'll just like... <laughs> and and, and you, you go and you find a less advantageous spot to be uh, standing. Uh, and, and you're trying to look at the door of Chapstacks and, and, and try and get a view through the window, but there's just so many knickknacks in the window, and it's really hard to see through. At one point, you do see Chapstack standing near the front, and because of the placement, you can't see the person that he's speaking to, but he gets that look in his eye, sort of like when he was getting a bit more uh, into the world of illicit affairs with his conversation with you and Lior. And you see that he's looking up at someone and going, looking back at his door, nodding, and you wait for the person to come out of the front door. And they don't. You wait long enough that you think, okay, maybe they were waiting to be cool, and then you realize, oh, they must have taken a different exit. Secret exit in Chapstack's house. Mm-hmm. Seems to be that way. Oh, who said that? Well, here's the thing, because you're here, and you find, like, a sort of little alleyway, and you don't necessarily stay in the same place the whole time. You move around a little bit, so it doesn't seem like you're just in one place for a long time, but you have this, like, prickling in your sensation on your neck that you kind of ignore these days because sometimes it just amounts to, unfortunately, what has become a bit of a status quo for you. But then you realize that this prickling is not accompanied by any words coming from some deep recess of your mind. It's just the feeling of being watched. And you spin around. You, 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 you know, take a casual glance over your shoulder and then, and then spin around relatively quickly. But you just see a crowded street, a busy day. You don't see anyone in particular watching you. But you felt watched. I'll, uh, I'll take the long way back to, uh, that place. The, the Furter Frog. Frog, yeah. I'll take the long way about, and I'll intentionally go by the wall that we fixed. Sure. Uh, but I want to make sure that, like, it's after 
afternoon. Yes. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, you spent a couple hours yeah. casing out and chap sacks. Uh, I just want to see if I ever lose that feeling or if it follows me where I go. You walk around, and I think that at a certain point, the feeling does leave you. But it's almost like, I don't know if this is just me, but it's the kind of thing that, like, if you're outside and you go, wow, if you just say out loud, the mosquitoes are crazy right now, you start feeling like you're being bit by mosquitoes. Mm -hmm. That might just be me, but it's really (laughs) real and it haunts me every summer. Um, But you're, you're, you're having a hard time figuring out if you're still feeling watched or if you are just feeling the effects of having had that feeling, if that makes sense. But you do get to the wall, and it looks to be in quite good shape. There's a couple people still uh, sitting sitting by uh, a fire and talking, but it is mostly cleared out. Uh, it looks like good as new. That's part of Lior's uh, part of Lior's genius is making sure that it doesn't look like a patch job. Like this was the natural state of this wall. It looks quite good. Just in case anybody's watching, I'll go up to the wall spit on it and then I want to backtrack the way I came to see if that feeling picks up again as I cross by chap stacks but I'm going to head back to the Furta Frog great um, I'll, I'll ask you to make a perception check oh, look at me that actually helped that worked yeah. uh, 22 22 <laughs> you turn back the way you came and I think convince yourself that nothing was there that no hmm that that no watcher had really befallen you that that it's just maybe a symptom of of your continued uh, heightened state let's say it gently um but you walk back and you pace back to uh uh chap stacks and I think you see as you're walking by you don't really stop you just walk straight on by and um, as you do uh, someone sort of like nudges you in the street someone leaving chap stacks door uh, just a person leaves over and kind of confidently takes a right when you're walking the other way and bumps into you uh, and for a second as you bump into them and your perspective sort of sort of shifts uh, from where your eyes had been maintained, you look sort of elevated above the crowd and you catch just what looks to be one face in the crowd that is pointed towards you and not, not away. Just a quick, it's so quick that you can't almost you can't even catch all the figures, but you do see uh, green eyes really briefly. Looks like a, a, a shock of blonde hair. And when you regain your balance and look back up, that figure is gone. Okay. I'll uh, continue walking, just pat myself down, make sure I didn't just get robbed, and uh, head on back to... uh... No, you still have your one silver. (laughs) (laughs) Lior would have been very upset if I lost his seven gold he gave me. That is so true. true. (laughs) And I'll make my way back to the Furtive Frog and just wait for those dudes to show up. Yeah, and you walk into the Furtive Frog, and um, bartender uh, Mick looks back at you and goes... Um, uh, I'm not, uh, I don't usually be the one to turn down business, but, uh, you, you did drink quite a bit here in the morning, and, uh, I, I, I would feel bad over serving you. I'm not here for any alcohol, I just need some food. I, I think food would probably, uh, do you some good. Thanks. Bacon. I do have soup. Bacon soup. I'll see what I can do. Maybe some bacon grease in the... It's... Times are bad. Sandwich. 
Sandwich, I sandwich I can do. Bacon sandwich? <laughs> uh, don't get your hopes up. Uh, from the rafters, he <laughs> brings down a bacon sandwich. No, no, he uh, he brings you a meal, um, and uh, uh, and as as you sit down, he goes. You know, I uh, I don't I don't mean to be prying, but um, then don't. Mm, well, maybe I do mean to be prying. <laughs> do you perhaps have any uh, inclination that there might be someone um, looking for you, lad? Looking for me? Why would someone be I... looking for me? Well, I have these two. These two strange ones, one a uh, uh, shorter, stockier, and and the other the other with uh, the flowing blonde locks that uh, do did be coming in asking for a couple of days if any strange groups had come by, any strange peoples, and I know that you seem to be sort of aggressively alone today, but. Uh, you did walk in with a strange group. Right, and I assume there's a lot of strange refugees coming into the wall these days. Aye. I, 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 strange people are uh, not exactly at a premium right now for me. But, uh... I did take a liking to that uh, lad you travel with, and I'd hate to see something come of them. Just, um, they already did come in and ask today, but just so you're aware. Did they say who they were? No. Very little information on who they were. Seemed very uh, fancy. A couple of fancy lads. All right. Well, I appreciate the heads up. I know I haven't made your life easy in the past day, so, uh... Here's a gold for your trouble, and I'll flip him a gold. I'll get you some bacon right away. <laughs> <laughs> Do me a favor. Aye. I was never here. I'm not here. Let me spend the day, and I'll leave after this. I'll forget your face the moment you leave. Perfect. Tal, you hesitate at the door, um, about to barge in. Do you knock, or do you just walk in? Oh, I fully knock. Okay, you knock... <laughs> That lady was very intimidating. <laughs> yeah, you knock and... But, but it's like a... Doo, 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 doo. <laughs> uh, yeah, a, a cute, you do a cute knock uh, and you hear one... What? Uh, and, and you hear Felix's voice say, Come in, come in. Uh, and as you open the door, you see that him and uh, Lord Ashmar are bent over um, the map... No. <laughs> he, set, he set me off. <laughs> I didn't expect you to do this. I knew that it was a possibility as soon as it left my mouth. Sorry. You. As you were. Oh, God. They are leaning over a table. <laughs> and that wasn't better. No, I know. Um, uh, and, and over this battle map that you had seen, sort of like a uh, geographical representation of the country and where different forces are marshaled. Um, and Ashmar is going, but that doesn't make any sense. It's like they're predicting our movements. How could they know what it is that we're planning? And Felix is going, I don't know. I don't know. It doesn't make sense. I think, ah, yes. Uh, Lord Ashmar, uh, would you, would you mind giving me a moment with my brother? He goes, of course, of course, family reunions and all. Uh, lad, good to see you. S sir. Well, respect, love that. And he leaves out the door, whistling a little jaunty tune. And Felix uh, looks over at you for a second, like fully exasperated. And then just says, Tella, it's so good to see you, and walks over and gives I you give him a, a big, big hug. Yeah, he gives you a big hug, and like kind of the hug that like you can tell that he's like like readjusting his arms, almost like to make sure that you're actually there. He goes, 
Oh my god, this has been such a bad time, and I got your letter, and I thought that you had gone off and done something stupid, and I, well, you have, but, uh, Well, like, define stupid. Define stupid? Did you even leave with Byron? No, why would Byron come with me? Why would you, why would you leave and travel the countryside during a civil war unaccompanied? I, I got here, didn't I? Stupid. Stupid. A little stupid. But I didn't have any other choice. It was that or stay home. What would be so bad about staying home, Tala? I like look around. Julian. You're not a girl. There's okay. only so long that I can tend Papa's sheep before... before I can't anymore. <sighs> You have any idea how much I wish I could be back tending sheep right now? Because you're a boy. And you can, for the rest of your life if you want to, <sighs> tend sheep. No one will let me tend sheep until I die. It'll be yes, you can tend the sheep, but have you met Joe's son? He's a strapping lad who needs good sons. That could never be my future. <sighs> um, um, sorry, I'm trying really hard to be sensitive right now. Uh, Don't bother, I grew up with you. Okay. A lot of things right now are not as they should be, right? Right. Things are bad. Before, when all of us went off to join the Legion of the Wall, it was just, oh, we'll see a bit of the world. We'll help people do the right thing. We'll protect Gildane. We'll have an adventure. And now it's like we're all trapped in this... We're all trapped in this net. And as hard as... The, the, the harder that we struggle to get out of it or, or carve out a spot, the more the net closes in on us. We made a choice thinking one thing, and now we're... Our lives are totally different. Our lives are war. That's my life. That's my life, Tala. And you look, and uh, he has... Um, not bags under his eyes, but they're, like, bloodshot. And uh, it didn't strike any of the others as uh, they met Felix. Um, but uh, the last time you saw Felix, before he had been promoted to captain, when he had visited home some three years ago, he had a full head of hair, which is now all gone. He goes, This isn't something you should want to be a part of, Tala. Especially because it's your choice. You, you you shouldn't... I don't want you to want this. I don't want war. I just want to help. I, I want to help my family. You can help your family by... staying home so we know that... so we know that it's safe. Everything is backwards. Everything in this country is backwards right now, and I i don't need anything else to be backwards. And you can see, uh, make an insight check for me. Nine. Nine? Ten, twelve. Twelve? Uh, you can see stress radiating off of Felix. Uh, and, and a little bit of frustration. Look, I'm in my disguise anyways. I'm, I'm too young to, 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 to join up as regulars. Can't I just help you? I've got Julian for that, and I have kept Julian with me as long as I possibly could because I've already turned down 
four requests in the six months that he has been enlisted for him to go to the front line. I'm trying as hard as I can to keep from, from doing that. You helping me turns into you... <sighs> Look, Tala, there's a reason that... And you see, like, a, he very much steals himself and looks at you. And the any of the notion of the person who gave you the warm hug is now hidden behind this formal mask. He goes, I didn't answer your letter because I hoped that this silly idea of yours would go away. Right now, I need to know that my sister is safe. I don't need... I don't need... I don't need to lose another... I... I don't need another brother. I don't need another brother. What happened? And you just see that he is, you just see that he's fuming and Julian goes, F Felix, she should know. And he says, Sammy was on patrol with his squad and got sent to a village where some of the dragon's people were being harbored. They took care of it. But Sammy... Sammy didn't come back with his squad. He just didn't come back. Like... Like he's still out there somewhere? Uh, Julian pipes up and says, Well, I mean, I heard them say that none of them actually saw anything happen to him, and Felix goes, He just didn't come back! Julian! <sighs> Tala. Does Mama know? Go home and tell her. Please, for... For, for... for me, please. Go home. Do... For once. Please. This one time, I want you to do what you're supposed to do. And go home. This is not a place for you. As you take a couple steps back, you see Felix for a moment, like a pang of guilt in his eyes, and he takes a step forward, like towards you, and then he stamps his foot as hard as he can into the ground and says, "Lord, Lord Ashmar, you can come back in. We'll you could come back, back to usual." And he watches you run from the room as Julian gets up to go get you and he just grabs Julian's arm. And I think you just run out of the castle um, uh, into the palace gardens where your friends are waiting. We have to go. We have to go now. And I take off for the furtive frog. Sure. What's the matter with her? I don't know. I don't know. You guys run through, tear through the streets. Yeah. Um, as, as as you are making your way there, you are sitting, finishing up your uh, sandwich with a 
a couple of crispy pieces of bacon lined up on the top of it. Yes. Just what Dirk needed. Um, Dirk's feeling happy. He's feeling good. And uh, at about uh, this time, you see uh, turning around the corner uh, and, and coming down from the stairs, um, uh, the uh, sort of shaggy, dark-haired man who had been tending the fire, uh, the one that uh, Paige told you was named Brodeen, um, who, who she had spoken with and had some questions about the night prior. You see him walking down and going, uh, Ah, Mick, lo- lovely day, yes? And Mick goes, Gore, sir. You uh, be heading out? He goes, yes, I suspect I should be out for the night. Uh, Hello, and looks at you. Uh, Yeah. uh, And uh, I'd like you to make an insight check. You've been burned by all of them. None of them are good. (laughs) It doesn't count. It doesn't count. yourself. (laughs) Nervous breathing. Yeah, that almost didn't make it. Oh my god. Dude. You should have rolled the pink one again, because you, you wasted the nat one. Five. <laughs> Seems like he's got somewhere to be. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And he sort of uh, hurries his way out of the door. He's the same one with the burnt fingertips that he was talking Correct. to? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Do I, do I notice that at all? Yeah, yeah. You put, you put together like, that. I, I know him from yeah, the fire. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, you don't necessarily look and go, burnt fingertips, it's that guy. You yeah. know who this person is by a visual description. But I'll give him a look as he's turning, I'll go, where, uh... Where are you working today? I mean, there's there's no walls being built. What, uh... Ah, well, um, my work at the wall was uh, finished, yes. Uh, you were not present, but <laughs> we completed it quite satisfactorily. No, I, I, I must meet a friend on, on urgent business. Ah, well, good luck and congratulations. On my friendship? Your urgent business. I'm assuming you're turning a profit of some sort. Ah. But hopefully, hopefully. We shall see. We shall see. Um, and and barrels out of the inn. Uh, roughly at the time that you guys are walking up or running up or jogging after that, uh, you see uh, Paige leaving and not seeing you because they're turning the other way, uh, the figure of Brodeen as they leave the inn at a somewhat decent clip and walk down the street uh, hurriedly. Um... Paige definitely cannot keep up with Tala running full speed, so she's just huffing and puffing and puts her hands on her knees and sees Brodeen. Uh, I should chase him, but I'm beat. <laughs> Small walking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, and, and so... Uh, Tala, you... what's happening? What? I guess Are, are we back at the frog? Yeah, you guys get into the frog at this point. I, like, bust in, I go straight for Dirk, and I, like, grab him with my arms. Dirk, we have to go. Uh, why, ta- what's wrong? We have to leave. Uh, okay, let's go. Okay. Where are we going? What is happening? I don't know. North? Did he say north? I, I don't remember anymore. Ta- um, let's go upstairs because I'm very angry right now that you're holding me and I'll just kind of pick you up and be like, I thought I told you I wasn't with you anymore and I'll just like walk Tal out the stairs. <laughs> Uh, this, you don't have rooms here. This is a different inn. <laughs> Did you want to go to the Pendrag's piece? Is no, that I'm just walking to? up the stairs He's to like, my own room. Okay, you got to pay for a room, huh, my guy? <laughs> uh, uh, and he just looks at, like, kind of can't do much about it. He's like, Sorry. Uh, what? Listen, can't stop him once his mind is set on something? I'll sort it out. I'll calm them down. Come, Come back here. What's going on? <laughs> uh, you guys just run upstairs. There's like a guy sitting on his bed reading in the first room you try and go into. And he's like, hello? <laughs> yeah, it's closed. Uh, and eventually you do find one empty room uh, and, and sort of post up in there. Yeah, I think that's okay. I'll put Tala down here and I'll go, one moment. I'll leave. Walk downstairs. How much is your room? 
Uh, <laughs> oh, I already told you this number, and it was a lot. <laughs> it was a lot. Four gold. Oh, I can't I oh my uh, god! I don't know. No, 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 no. I do no. remember. That's Why? a lot of gold. Uh, no, that was the oh, drink we had. Never oh, mind. That was different. Yeah. Ooh, one. What about how's one gold? What's the price Let's... of the room for five minutes? <laughs> how about that? Ooh, can I get this, it on a five-minute basis? It do not be that kind no. of establishment. <laughs> <laughs> I flip him another gold. He's like, oh, okay, fine. I'll just forgiven. Uh, it's on Leo, it's okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're down the page. Don't tell him not to spend it willy nilly. <laughs> uh, yes. Yes, I'll go back upstairs. Ta- you come back in, Tal's just like pulling her hair, pacing. D- is there a reason for this? Have, do, uh, did someone talk to you? They have my brother. W- who does? The dragon supporters. They have my brother. What? How did they get your brother? He was on patrol, and and he went to a village where they were, where they had supporters of the dragon, and and how they, how long ago? I don't know. Okay, I mean, I wasn't gonna mention this, and to be honest, I thought I was just going to leave on my own tomorrow. But I have a way out of the city. Wait, you were going to leave by yourself? Just thinking, it might not have been very safe, but. Apparently, Tala's brother's in danger, and we need to go get him. What are we going to do against the army of the Falls of Dragon? Uh, We're going to get my brother! I did not say that we weren't good to get your brother. It just seems like a tall task for the four of us. Paige is at the door, just keeping an ear to the door, but listening to the situation and not saying much. Perception check. We have faced the Dark One together. All of us. I don't doubt we can get my brother back. But nobody's looking for him. They, they, they all think he's dead. But but nobody saw anything happen. That's, that's what Julian said. Nobody saw anything happen. So he's still so alive. So we're not sure that he actually is captured. His patrol went out. They came back without him. There would be no other reason for Sammy not to come back. And the patrol just left without him? I guess there was a fight. My brothers weren't there. They just got the news after. But the people in his patrol said they didn't see anything happen to Sammy. One minute he was there and the next he wasn't. They have him. Mr. DM. You know, I was trying to join the military at one point in my life. Cool. And uh, Zach knows nothing about the military. Yeah. Uh, but I to me, it sounds time. odd that like you would just be like, hey, we didn't see anything happen to this guy, but we're just piecing out. Now, I assume it could happen, but does that sound correct to Dirk? Dirk, roll me a history check. I believe in you. The big guy. That thing's enormous. <laughs> that was the only yeah. possible outcome. Yeah. I really <laughs> thought it was just going to do a little bump. Really you bounced it. It bounced so far. I deserve that. You four. deserve that four. I deserve that four. What am I doing again? History. History. Well, right side. I that's an eight. <laughs> that's an eight. Um, I didn't ask to roll because. Uh, yes, but. Yes, but. I, I, I know that Byron's taught me history tactics, so just a, like uh, battle tactics just yeah. a little bit, yeah. but Michelle was assuming, you know, if, if the battle didn't go so hot, if it was like they won by the skin of their teeth, but they had to retreat quickly, then then they might not count all heads before leaving. Okay. Uh, you can, roll me, a, you can roll me a history check. It has to do with force. Yeah, well, mine's better than yours. <laughs> <laughs> 19. 19. Uh, there are several reasons that something like that could happen, uh, especially with a, like, sort of a skirmishing uh, fight like a lot of this has been. Um, uh, you flash back to Byron uh, telling you, uh, you know, sometimes they would uh, cut their losses and, and just uh, take one of ours out of spite. If we're in a consistent sort of skirmish engagement, uh, pay attention, pay attention. You listening? I saw you looking at a flower. But but there was a butterfly that came out of the flower. Yeah, but this what I'm telling you is really important, so I need you to focus. It's going to come up someday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. So, like I'm saying, it could be an abduction. It could be a death. A lot of stuff happens. 
you know, people people get lost if it's a particularly sort of scrambly, if it's by a river, perhaps. Uh, some people take it as an opportunity to cut bait and run, but, I mean, for the most part, if someone's unaccounted for in a battle, that's... That's all she wrote, unfortunately. There have been skirmishes up and down the country. Every time they fight, it's not these big armies clashing together. It's little people hitting and running. They could have... <laughs> I need to <laughs> go to hell. It's a, very, it's a very unexpected visual all of a sudden. It's, <laughs> it's bad. It's, I'm sorry. <laughs> they have my brother! <laughs> All right. So, if you're sure about this, let's go get him. Right? I don't know where, I don't know when, I don't know how. Now? With us? No, I mean, like, I don't know when they took him, I don't know where they took him, I don't know how they took him. So maybe we find that out. Your brothers must know they're in the army. They won't tell me. Little Felix bit. told me all of this and then said, go home. Well, Felix might not tell you, but that little one looked like... Julian might. Paige, as you're listening at the door, you hear a creak in the hallway outside. And then another creak sort of like close by it. Uh, and you li- wait... And you listen some more, and you hear sort of like two sources of that that are like right outside the door, right on the other side of the door. Without saying a word, I will reach and telepathically say, Quiet, Quiet. someone is here. Quiet, someone is here. Quiet, someone is here. Dirk will almost go to like yell, like stop talking in my head, and then be like, And she will back up three steps, just mm-hmm. the radius of the door, and wait with her hands up. And slowly reach for the door. Mm-hmm. And pull it open and check. Pull it open and check. When you pull it open and check, you don't see anyone standing right in front of you. At the, it's it's You're not like in this element of the hallway you're just looking at a wall across from you but you do hear uh, uh, footsteps rapidly leaving down the hall I'm going to run could yeah. I give chase as well yeah you am I near a window uh y- yes I jump out of it <laughs> <laughs> not I'm gonna look out the window to see no, who's running exactly. make <laughs> it's just okay a... like my goal is to jump out of the window and try to beat them to the front Okay, uh, make an acrobatics check. Thank you. I'm hoping the window is immediately above the door. <laughs> this, is, this is really bad. Uh, 12. <laughs> yeah, for I'm sure. buying you a new set of dice. It's Do you want my metal dice? You need my metal they're dice. They're really good, and then like at the last second they're stable, and then they're like, nah, man. Yeah. <laughs> I have this Let's really cool one down. if you want. Yeah. Yeah, I got one. So you take five points of falling damage. Okay, great, great. Uh, as you f- leap out of the window heroically, but your toe catches on the sill, and you just... <laughs> <laughs> and uh, slam your shoulder really hard um, and, and you're sort of in the alley on the side and taking a moment to catch your breath uh, you turn and look in the hall and uh, you see leaving uh, just just past you and moving fast at a clip faster that you think you could catch up to just the tops of two very large identical heads uh, as these two familiar figures that were the ones that Dirk had spoken to last night who were maybe going to set him up with a job start running out of the inn and you begin to give chase? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes, that's right. Is there anything you'd like to do? No, what? What? You're looking at me. What is it? Nothing you can do. What? I'll let you do your thing. It's okay. Oh, no, I feel like I have to reread it. <laughs> I, think I'm, I think I'm thinking what Victor's thinking, but Victor is <clears throat> thinking action. Yes, I'm, I'm going to dash after them. Yeah. Uh, ooh, I don't know if I have the level. Uh, no, it's fine. I'm just going to dash after them to try and catch up to them. Okay. And if I cannot catch up to them, uh, I'm going to chase after them out of the establishment. I am... Sorry, I have an idea. 
Okay, great. So first we're going to do the first part of the chase while you yeah. think about what you can possibly do, and then we're going to come <laughs> back to you. Uh, so I need you to make a athletics check for me, please. Sure. I'd like to be, uh, to be chasing as well. I imagine I'd kind of take a few seconds to shift gear, mm-hmm. but after that, I'd like to take off. Okay, athletics check. Uh, dirty 20. Dirty 20. Athletics? Yeah. 17. 17. Uh, you, with your uh, movement speed, are able to sort of like catch up to where Lior is, even after taking a second. Uh, you, Whereas Lior has to like kind of a little bit gently step down the stairs. Uh, uh, I just jump him. <laughs> you're able to like grab the wall and spin yourself down. You don't have to take a second to pivot. Uh, but as you're thundering down the stairs, Mick uh, isn't there going like, uh, now you do be about to take down my whole building. Uh, and you see these two throwing bar stools and stuff uh, I behind them. grab those bar stools. <laughs> oh, you, <laughs> yeah, you were able to grab two bar stools. Um, they, they slow you down enough that you can't catch up to them as they burst open the door. That's fine. But you do have the bar stools as they are sprinting out. Oh, they, they've Can, made it to the door already. They've made it downstairs. What was your thing? What I wanted to do was I wanted to subtly cast Phantasmal Force on one of them as they make it to the door. I would like to create the image of an Ogier, but like very swole. Just Are you saying I'm not <laughs> swole? Did say versus the barbarian? I am nine foot four. <laughs> he can't, he can't <laughs> hear me when I conjure this. I if want... you're under nine eight, swim. <laughs> <laughs> um, I want a huge Ogier to step out, like kind of like peer into the thing. And then take out a massive stone hammer, mm-hmm. and the one I'm aiming with the spell, he's not going to target. He's going to target the other one, and look down and come down with the stone hammer on the other one. Okay, that feels like not what that spell does. <laughs> that can fe- I read it? That feels like major image or, or or silent image or something. You can read it, yes. but I don't. I think phantasmal force does a different effect than that. It. it I does... have not read it in a long time. I will yeah. Read it. It creates something that only they can see. Right. But that they believe is real. Okay. But it's supposed yeah. to damage Does it them, incapacitate them? No, it that's not, hip- no, it does I not. I don't, I don't think Martin's trying to damage the other person. I think he's, he's just, just trying to make the person right, right, right. Okay, that's right. Right. I'm Sorry, I was thinking yeah. hypnotic pattern. Yeah. <clears throat> that's right, yeah. I'm not trying to stop them. Okay. I'll read it again just to have a turn. You create, you craft an illusion that takes root in the mind of a creature that you can see within range. The target must make an intelligent saving throw. Really good. On a failed save, you create a phantasmal object, creature, or other phenomenon of your choice that is no larger than ten foot, uh, than a ten foot cube. Perfect. And mm-hmm. that is perceivable. <laughs> this guy's ten feet by yeah. ten feet. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, right. And that is perceivable only to the target for the duration. Duration of. Uh, mm-hmm. One minute, that's correct. Um, this spell has no effect on undead, undead or constructs. The phantasm includes sound, temperature, and other stimuli also evident only to the creature. The target can use its action to examine the phantasm with an intelligence investigation check against your spell save DC. Yep. If the check succeeds, the target realizes the phantasm. Blah, 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 blah. Mm-hmm. Okay. There's um, a whole lot more, but I think yes. yeah. Yes, yes, yes. I, I think the whole lot more is you can cause it to hurt them and it does 1d6 force correct, or whatever. Correct, exactly. um, uh, and so you reach out and, and you're visualizing it, but you create this like hulking ogier that is none of the poise that Lior has and just this brooding uh, figure that only you and you quickly realize the one on the right uh, can see. Uh, and you see as... It flinches back, and you see it goes to swing towards um, his brother, but you also quickly get a sense of the character of this individual because they just flinch back, and, like, it slows them for a second, but they use that as a, oh, better him than me, and continue running (laughs) as they both continue running. (laughs) The integrity is disgusting. (laughs) Do I make it to them as they're coming out? Not quite. You hear the you hear the door swing open, and you're sort of like pushing yourself up from the ground. Blood and ashes. Can I, as we burst into the outdoors? Yeah. Can I whip the stool as hard as I can at one of their heads to try and 
make them eat us. <laughs> you <laughs> can. So you certainly can. So roll an attack with an improvised weapon. While he's doing yes. that, would I be able to aim for the the other guy, the one he's not hitting? Mm-hmm. Um, with my extra speed, can I catch up close enough to whack him with my fists? Uh, what is your speed? 40. Uh, if you used Step of the Wind, you could. I will. Okay, you can use Step of the Wind and catch up to the other one and hit him with a fist for sure. Let uh, me know when I can do something next. Okay, so, so my intention is to use Stunning Strike. Can I do Step of the Wind and Stunning Strike all in one turn? Yep. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, because yeah, yeah, Stunning so Strike isn't a bonus action. It's just something you spend. Okay, yeah, perfect, it's like a, perfect. It's like a I, I don't have it in front of me. Okay, okay. Um, roll to so, attack. Yeah, both of you guys roll your attacks for that. We're all now on, like, the, the turn, so you can choose to do something if you wish. I will settle to cast haste on the old. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it would be after Lior's no problem. done this action. <laughs> I didn't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that what... Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that that's that would have been a really good idea. Big blinking eyes. <laughs> Sorry, I thought it was ahead of everyone, which is why... Anyways. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I rolled a dirty 20. 15 a plus 5. Dirty, I don't have 20, dirty 20 will hit. Roll your damage. I, I think it's a d4 plus 3. 14... Uh, 14 will hit. Oh, thank goodness. Uh, and what kind of save do I need to make? Uh, wisdom. Is it wisdom? It's my wisdom, but is it his wisdom? I think it's... A... Oh, it's a con save, I think. Con save? It's either, it's either con or wisdom. What's your DC for con? I think 14. it is con. 14. Uh, fails it with a 13. Yes! And so one of them gets clocked with this, uh, with this, uh, stool, um, but sees the other one, uh, a, a figure darts up and jabs him. And ten points of damage. Ten points of damage. Oh, uh, Max and damage, just, baby. And locks up, and you see the other one takes a look at turning around to see where the bar stool hit it, and looks and sees the other one lock up, and just shoves him back into you, and takes off. Cool. Uh, shoving, I... shoving aside people in the crowd. Would I be able to do any sort of acrobatics to dodge the shove and continue after him? He takes eight points of bludgeoning damage. He takes eight points of bludgeoning damage. And it, because it's, I use my crusher feet, that the blow shoves him five feet off course, because I can. <laughs> sure. <laughs> because of that, I will say you can, but also know that oh he has God. run into, this is basically the after work rush, yeah. so it is crowded in here. So you can make an acrobatics check, but if it's not successful, uh, oh, he is likely going to get lost in the crowd. True. Unless Leo can bulldoze a hundred people with his 80 feet speed. I mean, I can. <laughs> <laughs> I'll RIP those people. <laughs> and the sun and the sun has like begun to. Fifteen. Fifteen is not going to die. I didn't think unfortunately. so. Unfortunately, uh, you eight. you just like uh, dodge out of the way of this person, but in who has been stunned and has been shoved back towards you. But as you do, you sort of knock into. Uh, a, a guy who just like, you know, the momentum that you're on sort of clotheslines you, and when you get up, you look and you can't really find this figure as they bolt off into the crowd. Okay. But this one is now down on the ground and stunned. What are you doing? I'm going to go, um, hmm, I was thinking of sitting on him, but there's the, the afternoon rush, so I'm just going to go and grab him, mm-hmm. and then uh, lift him up and bring him back into the uh, the furtive frog. Uh, <laughs> Whoa there, buddy. You had a lot to drink. <laughs> mm. uh, and halfway through, he starts squirming. He's like, hey, let me go. Let me go. Not going to happen. Not oh, a chance. I tried. Uh, <laughs> uh, and and you drag him back in, and Micarini is looking at you. He's like, now I don't want any trouble here. What's the meaning of... We paid for that room. We're going to use it for another couple of minutes, okay? We're just going to... <laughs> I, I'm giving you a few minutes, and then I will be calling the guards, because I think this is some sort of illicit torture, and I don't want it on my establishment. <laughs> yeah, speaking, we don't do any like, sort of illicit torture. Like, speaking of things you don't want in your establishment, I'm afraid these might be dark friends. I think they might be drawing something else on your establishment. But we'll call the guard. Don't you worry. Hey, make it quick. Of course. Uh, and you drag him up and, and throw, throw him in that room. He makes he makes a, a mad, like, lunge for the window. Um, but you go like, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I was just limping, nursing my elbow. I stay downstairs. You stay downstairs? I, I need to talk to Mick. 
you need to talk with Mick. So I don't know if you want to do them first. Uh, I'll have your conversation with Mick as they uh, sort of strap him down there. Paige has reason to think that they might be involved with the people who blew up the wall. So n- nothing illicit, but... <sighs> Uh, why would why you won't turn them over to the authorities? You're some sort of avenging force, you no. and your friends. No, not at all. We just have some some. They've been following us, so we want to know why they've been following us before we give them to the authorities for blowing up the wall. Uh, look, I don't want any bad attention to fall on me. I, you were you were the ones who are staying at Pendrags. Mm-hmm. You've seen what happened when bad attention falls on an establishment during these times. Fair. So you we, we we won't trouble you. We'll we'll be out super super quick. But I, I wanted to ask you, if I had to get a note to a soldier working at the palace, how could I get that delivered? I'd imagine that you could pay some street urchin, perhaps, to deliver it. Sometimes they'll do small tasks for a small amount of coin. What's the likelihood of it making it there quickly? It depends on the urchin, depends on the pre-established relationship you have with said urchin. Uh, of course, you could bring it yourself, but... Uh, I can't. All right, well, it looks like urchin business is what you got. <laughs> Do you have any... I only have a relationship with Willie, and I wouldn't call that good. Willis. Willis, yeah, my uh, bad. So you hear a voice from above you go like, it's actually Willis, and I think you know that. And feet dangling uh, in the rafters <laughs> of this establishment is Willis, who's going, that was pretty cool what you guys just did. Um, For the ability to say that you were involved in that really cool thing with us, in addition to one gold piece. His eyes turn into gold pieces. Yeah. <laughs> Will you deliver a note to someone at the palace as fast as you can, no delay? I am the fastest person alive. <laughs> I look at Mick. Can you help me write a note? I, lad, I can help you write a note. So, with Mick's help. Yeah. All right. Um, Julian, life or death, meet me at, uh, meet me where we mended the wall. Or no. I'll say, meet me at Pendrags. Or oh. no. <laughs> <laughs> Tal, Tal we're, is doing this live. We're running out <laughs> of space here, boy. Mix just... Where do, oh, <laughs> I meet him? Uh, oh, where do, oh. Where do, where do... Meet me outside of uh, Chapstack's Knickknacks. What a kitschy choice. <laughs> yes. All right. At sundown. It's... It kind of is sundown, I think I said before. Uh, it's like... N- as, as soon as possible. As soon as possible. Sure. Life or death. Life or death. 100%. He goes, all right, Willis, get down from there. Uh, and Willis does a very spectacular tumble from the rafters and takes the letter and goes like... Gold up front. Make it quick. Oh my God. Gold up front. That's a dangerous choice. <laughs> but I want to be part of this cool story. So I'm I trust you, Willis. Wow. Roll an inside check. <laughs> <laughs> Take the money around. I am not only the fastest man alive, I am the tr- most trustworthy individual there has ever been. Wow. I, w- I wanted to try something, <laughs> but I've only <laughs> ever... No, no, no. I've, I've only ever seen this or read this in one story ever, so I don't know if it's an actual thing. So, um, gold is a soft metal. <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> <laughs> Can I break it in half? No. <laughs> no. No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Michelle! No. Whatever no. appears, you betrayed me. No, you're not a strength-based right. class. I'm not even going to entertain that. <laughs> My strength is 12. That's not a strength-based class. Uh, don't, Still you don't pretend that that's cool. optimized. Can't even multi-class with it. Up front. He books it. <laughs> Upstairs, as uh, night falls, you guys need to light a lamp. Uh, inside this room, as he goes, what do you want? You? Well, yeah, I really? kind of want to know what's going on. I thought we were meeting here tonight. <sighs> we were going to. Looks like we're, my brother's an idiot who trusted the wrong person. It's impossible to say which one of the ones was. It yeah. was that gave you all the information. Well, I guess you trusted each other, and that's what the mistake was. <sighs> I'm not talking. I'm going to... Does press digitate? Does predestination have predestination? predestination. <laughs> Does predestiny's child have um, a verbal somatic component? Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay, mm-hmm. so I cannot cast out without revealing. 
I'm going to, if we're in the room, I'm going to be behind him, my back to the wall, arms crossed, looking at him, and I will subtle cast detect thoughts, and I'm just going to hover there, waiting for something in the interrogation that I will pry on. Okay, he's just going, I'm not talking. Are you behind us or behind him? I'm behind him. So I assume you have him in a chair, and I'm like there, and you're in front of him. We are shining a lamp into his face. (laughs) The lantern's right here. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I'll just kind of give you the look and go, Listen, Mm. where the hell's your brother going? I will never say. Oh, of course you'll never say. But what I really don't want is for you to picture it in your head. (laughs) (laughs) Like the... Or it's one of those things, you know, it's like, don't yeah. think picture of a, pic- it. a picture. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He goes, it's Swear very God. unhelpful at first because the whole city is surrounded by it, but he goes, the wall. He goes, what I really want is for you to not picture it. <laughs> and, you, and you just see his eyes go... <laughs> as his surface thoughts are going, don't picture the wall, don't picture the wall, don't picture the wall, don't picture the wall. Don't picture the wall. Uh... But his surface thoughts are maybe not enough to paint a beautiful. No, hold on. I have to roll. I have to roll some sort of dumb ass check. <laughs> That's a six. Um, you get a picture of a wall that looks nondescript as far as like other sections of the city are concerned. Um. But something in the image uh, catches your eye um, beyond the wall, just to the left of it. Um, There is one house on the block that has its shutters open and a woman staring wistfully (laughs) at the space above the wall and going, (laughs) I'll never tell you exactly where it is. I'm going to say wall next to Gertrude's house in his head. Ah, that's... ah. Exactly. You thought you can trick me. I can trick you. Well, that's why I know your brother's going to the wall. The whole city surrounded by a wall could be anywhere. Yes, but it's the western wall. Nope, never. never, No, no, you were right the first time because (laughs) because you say, but it's the western wall. He goes, burn me. (laughs) So we can do this the easy way. Or the hard way. What's the easy way? The easy way is you talk. I'm talking. Okay. We need to know information. I mean, who are you working for? I think that that would be a start, yes. Someone who should be in charge of things here. And to be to be honest, I, I might still be in agreement. Is this job still on? What job were you going to oh, do? You still want to work with us? Well, kind of. Like, what job were you going to do? Uh, we were just going to try and blow up the wall. I didn't, is that just all you guys do? Kind of, yeah. We're pretty good at it. We're getting better. Oh, wow. I mean, like, we're making a bigger boom. Bigger boom? Bigger you boom. Bigger gotta have hole. a good supplier for that. Yeah, well. Our guys got uh, a supply. Boom. I want to dig on that. Uh, you want to dig on that? Beautiful timing. Five on the day. Excellent. Uh, and he goes, uh, uh, he's going supply and he's trying to be vague about it, but he looks, uh, he feels a prying and he looks at you with horror as um, uh, what plays out is like not even close to a small image. What plays out is in this guy's open sieve of a mind is a flashback to the countryside surrounded by hundreds of tents, loud noises, and uh, the companionship of his brother and of the shorter man that was sort of the mouthpiece for them. And talking about, we need to do something big here. Nothing is going to swing the pendulum in this conflict if we don't do anything big about it. And you know, just continued talk of needing to do something big until one voice by the fire says, I think perhaps I may have some way of accomplishing this, yes? And uh, he looks at you and realizes exactly how deep you are into his mind right now as uh, he, like, overlaying his look of, like, horror at having just given up everything is the smiling face of Brodine. 
No, no. No. That's okay. Because now we don't have to hurt you. So you did good. No, you're not going to hurt me? <laughs> I'm lying. I'm just going to knock him out if I can. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I probably came upstairs right on time That's to see like, him knocked out. Yeah, 100%. You came right in time for him to go, ah! that, <laughs> that exact sound, he's out. Nick's going to call the guards. That's not a bad idea. We should probably hand him over. Okay, you, let we me... got... I know you wanted to me. tell... You wanted to tell Julian. Do you think this would be a good moment to involve Julian? Perhaps hand him over to him? I sent I sent a note to Julian. I don't know how we can get him all the way to Julian, though. So let's just let Mick call the guards. I'll let Julian know who this guy is. I but I've told Julian to go meet us outside of Chapstacks. Ooh. How far is Chapstacks from here? Chapstacks is close to the northern section of the wall that you guys had worked at. Okay. Where are they going? Oh, that's a good question to ask them. Oh. Where is who going? Where's who going? The people. The, 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 the fellow. Oh, sorry. They're going to the Western Wall, next to Gertrude's. Shouldn't we go there? That is a good place to... I don't know when the event is going to happen. That is probably where... If they know we caught him, and I have a feeling that Tal is going to be right. And it's going to be now. Let's go. That's a very good point. <laughs> I think we should leave. Okay. Also, give me a moment. I'm just going to just try to find a piece of paper or something. Go... Just write down real quickly, I am affiliated with the false dragon, and I'm just gonna like leave it on his chest. I'm assuming we're leaving him here. Say, um, yes, say of he's responsible yeah. for blowing up the wall. And I'm also responsible for blowing I, I don't have enough room for you. We have to add it at once, not at all anyway. I'm going to put a bed on him so that he can't run away. <laughs> and then I'm going to <laughs> did we tie him? Is he tied or is he just under a bed? Under a bed. He just yes. wakes up like Ugh! I don't have rope, do you? I don't have a rope. <laughs> My rope is back at Pendrags. You guys are working on this letter and then you just hear boom, 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 and you don't even take him off of the chair. You just put it on top of him. You hear the chair crack and all of a sudden he's just like tight under it and you guys like look under the bed and you just see like his chest. These guys are huge. Yeah. So his chest is like just enough space to go like <sighs> but every time he breathes in he like can't really move so I'm, gonna, I'm gonna drag his arms so that they're kind of like sticking out beside the bed posts and I'm gonna yep. take his sleeve really really tight so there's no way that he can get his hand out of it and I'm gonna use my darts to peg oh, his sleeves into nice. the bed post so that his arms nice. are stuck there he can't use them to get out nice yeah no check required for that he is unconscious and free to be uh, All right. manipulated we take off wish. Uh, you guys take off, and the streets have rapidly emptied. It is not too late, but it is a bitterly cold night. Things have, uh, fires are, are lit in, in, in barrels and fire pits we, in the street. We tell Mick, call the guard! <laughs> already called, already called. I told Willis to make a pit stop. Uh, uh, and it's a bitterly cold night. No one is outside, and the streets are disquietingly uh, empty as you run your way through the streets uh sprinting 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 uh yes do you, do you want me to tell you when i break down uh, a spell slot to turn it into how long does that take you it, bonus, it's a bonus action. action yeah then do that okay perfect. Yeah. do you want merton to tell you when page breaks down with an asthma attack <laughs> <laughs> page that, is that happens before page I is asthmatic in my bag. <laughs> yeah. she has a fair bit of constitution she's just very dainty but... um you guys run through the city, and what is what are you doing as you approach? Are you just running in, or are you trying to sneak? No, they know we're coming. There's no need to sneak. As as we're running, I say, if it's if it's Gertrude, do you think she knows anything? Maybe you can go in and say, "My love, this is very important to the safety of our future together." Please tell me what who these people are. He really and does not have the time to seal the deal. And then get the information. So she really, has a husband, and if I if he answers the door, it's all over for me. Then you can ask them, perhaps, if we can use the house as a bunker, you know, to stage an attack. Maybe. You guys are debating <laughs> while, while running. exactly yeah. what this relationship is. Yeah, while you're running, like Scooby-Doo you style. That level yet. Um, uh, but as you run and turn the lane into uh, the alley that ends at the wall, the western wall that you had examined the shoddy workmanship of, you see that there are, just as in the rest of the city, 
uh, fires lit in, in barrels along the street. Um, and at the top of the street, the scaffolding that you had seen that was still erected, the wooden platform uh, with its uh, with its step ladder to get up, is still there, but uh, now freshly lit with a fire at the top of it and a figure leaning over some thing that you can't see. Um, uh, and uh, as you think that it might be a solitary figure, two people step out from the shadows and into the street uh, blocking your path and they go we got company and standing up at the top and spinning around is uh, Brodine who turns around and looks at you all and goes oh, but we work so well together yes it's a shame that plans have to be made so hastily but and um uh, strikes a uh, metal stick against uh, part of their pocket that sparks. Looks like there's a rock there. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it glows with a hot red light and says, might as well go out with a bang, yes? And touches it to a bundle of uh, cords that are along the ground. And I need everyone to roll initiative. Oh. Would I have been able to cast Mage Armor while running? Okay. 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 <laughs> So first up in the initiative order is Dirk. All right. So I see two people next to me, and I see this big guy up top thinking he's hot doo-doo. And you know what? I don't like him. He lied to me. I asked him what he was doing today, and he did not tell me he was going to be blowing up a wall. (laughs) So I'm going to take up (laughs) after him, uh, and I'm going to move 30 feet as per my movement, and I think I might just dash after that. To okay. Be honest. Uh, Do you want me to move it for you? Uh, sure, if you can. Okay. It's then we're in a, a bit of a precarious spot. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Okay. Excellent. Uh, yeah, that's really it. And I go, Lior. <sighs> With me, Tal. Protect Paige from those two idiots. That'll be my turn. And looking down from the top, you see holding this uh, sort of fire stick, uh, Brodin looks down and goes, I see four idiots. Yes, I think you might be underestimating yourselves. Uh, that's your turn? Yeah. Uh, okay. That is going to take us to this lithe figure over there um, who, having seen you dart by is going to run up and try and catch up to you and make some strikes on you. Please, no. There's <laughs> a gasp from the window. Not my mom. <laughs> Good shoot. <truth. laughs> yeah. Timothy, get in there and help that man. Yeah, <laughs> as, so you, as you run past it. He's so handsome. <laughs> and then as as the fighting starts, oh, <laughs> closes. Uh, and is going to make, first running after you, throw a dagger at you. Uh, that's going to miss because I rolled a five. Nice. And then as they approach, uh, sort of pick up the dagger off of the ground, but take two swings with a scimitar at you. Uh, the first one. Three attacks. Watch out, boys. First, <laughs> first one is a 13 to hit. Yeah. And the second one is a 21 to hit. A 21 to hit. Yes. A 21 to hit. That's bad. That'll hit. That'll hit. Okay. Uh, and because. No. Yes. Yes. Wow. <laughs> no! No, yes. Benjamin. Because it hits, it deals you eight points Ugh. of slashing damage. It hurts. Uh, and he goes like, uh, you really want to deal with the status quo of this place? Come on. I'm actually leaving. Think bigger. Uh, and, and just slashes into you. Um, uh, next up we have Tala. Um, Tala's going to... Uh... Bolt after Dirk. <laughs> okay. Uh, and use Step of the Wind to move as far as she can. So sure. can someone grab that for me? So that ends up being... So... 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40... Step of the Wind, 5, 10, 15? Uh, I mean, not being next to him to incur an opportunity attack, I imagine? Are you, yeah. are you running past? Um... I, I see it, so yeah, I'm, 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 I'm trying to run my full distance. So, 15, so dash and 20, step of the wind? 
uh, not not dash, uh, s- uh, movement and step in the wind. Yeah. So what I'd like to do, with your permission, okay, um, I'd like to take my quarter staff, <laughs> which is a versatile weapon, and I'd like to, as if it were a javelin, pick it up and aim to get. Like, I, I want to throw it like a javelin at. Brodine. Okay. Um, with the intent of knocking him in the chest off the wall. Okay, so what versatile means is that you can wield it either one-handed or two-handed, dealing different damage. Mm. Throwing it like this would be an improvised attack. Ooh. Because this, this is not a javelin. That's okay, not what it's I, for. I, I miss, I miss, I'm, I, I miss yeah, remembering what versatile meant D6, with if it was, um, if it was strength. No, that's finesse. Yeah, that's yeah. Finesse. Right, what does what does being a monk weapon do? I'm not sure if it helps this or if it doesn't. A monk doesn't weapon doesn't mean you can use it as to be a different kind of. It just means that okay. if you attack with it, you can also yeah, use your. Like I can't stab system. you with ah, my nunchucks. Okay, 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 okay. I mean, that'd be cool. Though. <laughs> yeah, just knife chucks. <laughs> Crazily enough, Mikey has like knife chucks in like the 3D version of the TMNT 2013 version. No cool. way. Oh my. Wild. So. That's actually like a, a character from our home game's uh, rope dart weapon. Yeah. Yep. Exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, in Shout that out, case, Kome. <laughs> in that case, I'd like to uh, throw a dart and mm-hmm. specifically try to knock the um, the flint out of his hand. Okay, sure. The flint, and uh, I think I think the flint itself is in his pocket, but the striker that he's using. The to, striker that he's using, yeah, or, like, yeah. Like the flame that he has that he's trying to set alight. Okay, okay. Wait, uh, he's already set something something alight, no? He's already set something alight. Yes. Do I see where that rope goes? Um, from your vantage point, I don't know that you do. <sighs> Currently, I don't think you know it. I don't, Balls! I don't think you do. I'm I'm never I'm never gonna get there before anything happens. Well, this is the first round. This is, yeah. And you've moved, this is like, the first round. 100 feet. <laughs> so, like, 80, guys, 80. Are you dashing? Here, I'm going to be I'm gonna be real with you, Michelle. Yeah. I was designing this combat thinking, this is too hard, they're never going to get there. Also thinking I would have one more guy in the way. But then I thought, no, it's fine. Tal is there. <laughs> so Paige is still in the inn at this point. <laughs> All right, so then, so then I will use my... I'll use my action to dash. Okay. Ooh, okay. Ooh. Can you reach it? I know what I'm gonna do. Can you? Can if if I can go up? So like five, ten, fifteen, twenty. I can't see what's happening. Twenty, yeah. and How, then climbing so up this ladder. Fifteen yeah. feet. So your climbing speed is half of your movement speed. Uh, is it? That's think you're so. thinking of ranger it, until you're level when you seven, were your I ranger with your roving thing. Or nine, something like that. I don't think you have the climb no, up walls it's not thing the one. yet. No. You can start to make your way up the ladder if you wish, or just sit at the foot of the ladder if you want to do that. But I'm going to ask you to come to a decision. That's so swear many jar, swear jars. Jar, yeah. <laughs> um, I, cherry, cherry, I will. Cherry. I, I'll, I'll, I'll just, I'll just make it as far as I can because Tal, Tal saw something catch a light and is Sorry. is deeply concerned that something's going to go boom real soon. It's sure. a very serious moment, but all I could think of was the charity for children who can't read good. That's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sorry, it's a building for ants. <laughs> this is this is a this is a street for ants. Uh, <laughs> so the series of swear words I just dropped there. The money for the swear jar will be donated to <laughs> Yes, charity. 100%. A good charity. Literacy with children, which and feels appropriate. As you are beneath this and you see Brodian looking down at you a little bit cagey, um, uh, you all sort of get a sense of what is going on here. One, two, three. I need each of you to roll a d20 for me, please. I don't believe in that one. Ooh, two. Seven. I was not included in that, right? No. Damn it. Twelve. Okay. Tal, you see beneath there, because uh, it is like slotted wood and you can see sort of underneath, what you see, what he has uh, struck are three cords, three twi- uh, pieces of twine that are winding their way down towards three large uh, bulky discs that are planted right up against the wall. Um, and with a two, Lior? Yeah. You see that the one in the middle is fizzling a little bit faster than the other ones. 
there is very much a timeline mm. on how long these things will last. You see this from your vantage point. Do I get the impression that it would be a full action to put them out? <laughs> or could I do it a little quicker? Uh, make an intelligence check for me because you didn't do like an attack on this turn. You were just running, so you'd make an intelligence check. 15. Investigation, yeah. 15. Uh, 15. Uh, you get the sense that there is a spark traveling along these uh, these cords and that there are many ways to put out sparks, but uh, one of them is not going to be I simply use my movement to walk across all three of them. <laughs> <laughs> that was the first thing there is no, no. There's no world in which I let you do that. Uh, <laughs> um, okay, that is going to take us to Lior. Lior, you're up. All right, I'm going to uh, run forward and say, uh, "Keep up, Paige." <laughs> and I'm going to run forty <laughs> feet. Sorry, go ahead. Forty feet? Uh, yeah, I think yes, I have forty feet. 25, 30, 25, but like 40 meters like here. Uh, yeah, yeah, you can diagonal it around, I think. Yeah. yeah. But I want to step on the cart, Bradley. No, um, oh, you want to... no don't, I'm, don't, I'm kidding. I'm don't break kidding. my craft. Um, <laughs> but I'm, I'm going to go there. Okay. And as I do, I'm going to try and meditate like Dirk. And... And I'm gonna start to do the tree song and cast Entangle. Oh. Uh, allow the wood underneath him to, even though it's treated wood, to try and come back and wrap him up in vines. Very cool, uh, very cool. cool. And the effect of that is grappled? Uh, restrained. Wow. So he has to do a strength saving throw. A strength saving throw? Are you sure? Yep, the, the creature in the, must succeed on a strength saving throw, and then after that, it's strength checks. Wow, I hate that. I was going to say, oh I, lo- I love how many times you've described him as long and lanky. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah I mean, that's really bad. I can't tell you how angry I am. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my, I'm, oh, oh, I'm ruined. <laughs> What's your DC? Uh, it would be uh, 8 plus 3 plus 3, so that's 14. F- yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was on a 19 and then it rolled to a 1. <laughs> oh my f- that's like swear five swear yeah, no. We don't usually hear Bradley swear. Oh he really doesn't want his guy entangled. God. Oh, I didn't <laughs> picture that garbage. <laughs> Oh man, I feel like inventing some BS, but I can't. I'm, I'm in too deep now. I'm, I can't be like, um, actually, it has to crawl up the. Uh. Actually, he has uh, gauntlets of ogre strength. No, 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 uh, he doesn't. You see that uh, the last, world. the last vestige of this dead, like sort of weather scarred wood that has life in it. You just in a in in a low hum that none of you perceive as anything other than a. <laughs> Uh, the only thing that you are communicating is return to once what you once were, brother. Grow again. And a tiny little green shoot winds its way up the leg and up the leg of Brodine and really binds him into place. Yes. Uh, he is going to use a legendary action Mm -hmm. to attempt to break free. It's a strength check now. It is a strength check. I don't think he had proficiency, but in case he did. It is is still (laughs) not good for him, but he's going to use a strength check to attempt to break free. Beautiful. Break three? I hope I break three. (laughs) Doesn't succeed. Mm. Is that the end of your turn? That is the end of my turn. Interesting, interesting. <laughs> interesting that he has legendary actions. Oh, interesting, interesting. My god, Paige. Yes? It's your turn, Paige. Yeah, fantastic. You can do something if you want. <laughs> Where Bradley's like, don't do anything, please. Just show up. There, there. One. And by the cart. Is the uh, right, right by the cart, yes. Okay. Uh, I can run 30 feet, so I'm going to run 30 feet. Okay. Because that's all I can do. Thank you, Zachary. Yeah. This way towards the cart? Uh, towards the cart, yeah. 
Uh, I'm gonna take it a little one bit more. laterally. Yeah, one more on one the side. Yeah, exactly. So right there, and um, I can't reach anything. What's the? Can you? I'm gonna count. One, a two, a three, four, five, six, seven. That is more than sixty feet. Okay. All right. Um, I can't do much. I am going to. <clears throat> Mm-hmm. Yes? Oh, this is frustrating. Yes? Lie. How else would you like to ruin me? That's <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Bradley's going to take out all his frustrations at Paige. <laughs> <laughs> the weakest one! <laughs> I am... Ooh. My back. It might, it might not work. Okay. Um, I'm going to... Page. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Make a decision, Page. I'm gonna start whispering in the air. You can't do that. No. <laughs> He's not you, actually saying words. I'm not saying words. I know, but right. that's not gonna be closer. anything. <laughs> I'm gonna get louder. <laughs> Rush you and me, the wind guide you and me, the earth push you. And the voice will start rushing into Dirk's head as I um, cast haste on Dirk. Um, as he feels uh, his armor get a little bit lighter, he feels his um, feels the the earth and the cobblestones pushing against the balls of his feet, urging him on as the wind is at his back. Um, and that is all I will do. You will use haste. That's Excellent. right. Excellent. Subtly? No. Woo! At the end of your turn, going to spend. That's, that's an... why. No, 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 okay, 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 that's just... what you pointed wow. out. So it's out there in the I open. I just wanted it's to emphasize that. Wow, that's okay. really good. Thank you. Not... And... Yeah, yeah, thank you for doing that. that. I'm so used to that being the standard. So you, what does it look like when you do this? So it's as I'm doing that, the wind starts to pick up, and it's the first time I openly cast something outside. I would say, and then the wind starts to pick up, and um, my hair starts to blow back. And uh, it's one of those weird moments where her hands come up in front of her a little bit jerkily. And um, I'm, I'm really hoping Gertrude still has her shutters closed. But, You're very um, Galadriel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> kind of, kind of, yeah. And with the chin up, she will reach out and then it will look a little bit fractioned. And then that'll be it. And you will see Dirk will just... I feel it. I feel it. You My feel a sensation, Dirk, that you've already <laughs> felt before. once before. Okay. This storm of encouraging voices coming uh, into your mind and uh, no longer the voice of your father this time but uh, and no longer an imagined voice uh, a voice that was a conversation you had earlier today of your uncle Halden looking you in the eye and saying I'm proud of you whatever you did to get out I'm sure it must have been real great huh Uh, and you feel just your essence pick up the end of your turn, it's going to burn another legendary action to try and break out of this. That's another natural one. <laughs> I'm going to stay with this dice until I die. <laughs> Is it the spicy one? It's the spicy one. Uh, it, some brings, in somewhere. it brings us to Brodine's turn, who is just... What is what is this? Uh, and just struggling against these vines that are just wrapping him up wholly and completely. And at the end of his turn, he's going to try and... Is it end or beginning? Uh, that's a good question. I will look that up, but you can make the check. Yep. Uh, it's, a, it's an action, so he can... It's an action. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, succeeds with a 15. Oh! Uh, it says, that's... And just breaks out of it. Uh, and, and, and stands back up um, uh, and looks uh, sort of looks down at what he is uh, still trying to uh, desperately like uh, keep going and uh, blows to try and make them go faster uh, but just turns back around and faces you doesn't really seem to have anything that they can do with a bonus action oh what a shame that's going to take us to Paige having cast this uh, out in the open um uh, you just hear as you see Dirk uh, and his his face uh, light up again and, and and get into action mode and you still feeling there with the with, with the power flowing through you you just hear a voice uh, grumble behind you and say 
no room for that kind of witchcraft here. And you look as a club swings at you as this one emerges from behind here. Yeah. And oh. just takes a couple swings. Oh, okay. I thought someone was invisible and emerged somewhere. <laughs> this might be worse. Yeah. Is... The dark one materializes. This, this might be worse. Now, uh, takes two attacks at you. Uh, that's going to be a 13 to hit. It does not hit. And it's going to be a dirty 20 to hit. That one hits. Okay. It's going to deal you seven points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. As the fur, the mace swings out and it actually hits you so hard that you don't... Uh, that I lose concentration? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, well, that's the risk. That's and the risk. you go, and uh, you feel this, and the first one just hits you so hard that, like, he almost wasn't expecting how hard it is that you have uh, fallen over, and the second one just swings over you. But as you hit the ground, you desperately try and hold on to a voice that says, let my strength be yours. Let the, let the past guide you. Let the... And you just... <gasps> And the voice cuts off for just a hair of a second. But that hair of a second is enough for you to blink on the ground and see Dirk uh, from his ready stance just go slack-jawed. I'm and, so sorry. Oh, and no. uh, standing there for a second. Incapacitated? Is that right? Robert Toast? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. So dark. Sorry. So dark. Incapacitated. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Super sorry. That's so and dark. an inspiration. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If I get one, I have to give it back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A voice in the sky that sounds like mine goes, Finally a win for Brad! <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I was like, I have so much speed, I can get up to that thing, I can and, do some... And you, you just sort of scramble back up onto your feet as this person is glowering over you. Uh, and that's going to bring us back to the top of the round where Dirk... Mm, I kind of shake off and go. Are you, what, what? What just happened? Did that, was that on purpose? Uh, that's my turn. Dirk, make a wisdom saving throw. Oof. Oof. No, no, wisdom. We're gonna make this exciting. Oh. Don't throw it down. Yeah. <laughs> Natural twenty. Oh. Yes. Um, you hear a voice say, "You know that that was on purpose, right?" She's finally coming for you. Yeah. The she wouldn't have channeled open. The walls are closing in. The walls are closing in. And I'll just kind of fortify my mind a little and bit. And you feel that creeping sensation on the back of your neck again? Mm-hmm. Oh. I don't like that. Is that the end of your turn? Uh, yeah, I am capacity. I don't believe I can do anything. The end of your turn, you snap out of it. This yeah. is sort of like that narrative moment where yeah. that's happening. You're incapacitated, but this is happening in your head. You got a nat 20. I'm going to reward the nat 20. You feel this creeping uh, feeling on your neck, and you just, like, shake yourself out of it and look at the mouth of the alleyway, and you see leaning against a building very far down the street uh, and looking at you. Green eyes, blonde hair, and slink off into the night. Yeah, and then the voice that you hear says, You know me. That's all you hear. Which, uh, which building was it coming from? Uh, far, far, off far, the, far, far off the map, yeah. down the street, closer to the center okay. of the town. Yeah, sure, okay, sure. Yeah. Dirk leaves the battle. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that is the end of Dirk's turn. That's going to take us no longer incapacitated. Uh, because that, that's annoying. Um, that's going to take us to... Telepathically say, I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, to to uh, so little, little guy. Things. We're gonna go to little guy here. Um, little guy is going to take one step to the left. Cha cha, real smooth. <laughs> <laughs> um, and not having liked his success, seemingly about to try and capitalize on your weakness, uh, Dirk. Um, but seeing you snap out of it just as he's going to take his swings. Uh, just takes a stab with his dagger at you and then turns around and s- takes two sword swipes at you, Lior. Mm. So the dagger shot at Dirk uh, is going to miss. 
Mm -hmm. And then I have two scimitar strikes on Lior. Uh, one misses with a uh, eight. Does a 16 hit? Yep. 16 will hit. On the miss, mm -hmm. I'd like to repost if I if I can, actually, if you don't mind. Yeah, if, totally. And, it's, and it goes, he attacked me first and then Lior? Yeah, because, so incapacitated, you're just incapacitated for, wait, I'm sorry. Are you incapacitated for the whole turn? Like the round? Not, Not the round. In, I think until it's, my Until turn your ends. turn ends, basically. Yeah. That's you can read it. so annoying for me because yes, that would yeah. happen right take reactions. Yeah, yeah, so it didn't do anything for me. Yeah. You can't move or take actions until after its next turn. So it's yeah. not incapacitated. It's when the spell ends, the target can't move or, or take, take actions, actions. So until it's after essentially. its next turn yeah. Yeah. as a yes. wave of lethargy. That's, so, that is yes. essentially incapacitated. Yeah. So, yeah, oh, so incapacitated. on okay. this dagger it. strike, yeah. that's it exactly missed. It. Yes. I Oh, it wouldn't matter anyway. I'll just repost. I was going to try to trip attack him, but okay. I can't put two in one. But I'll just repost, repost to see yeah. if I can Absolutely. hit him. Absolutely. I think incapacitated means you cannot take uh, right. 13. Uh, 13 will miss. Okay. 13 will miss. Um, the one strike that does hit you, Lior, mm-hmm, Brad's back and he's not doing damage. Uh, four <laughs> points of slashing damage. Ooh. Uh, ooh, he says, ooh. Um, uh, and um, uh, at the end of uh, the bandit's turn, uh, the uh, Brodeen is going to use two legendary actions. Mm -hmm. Um to cast a first level mortar as uh, takes out from a sort of bandolier that he has, takes out a, uh, a glowing tube with a wide, uh, wide exit point uh, and takes his white hot poker and touches, you see a fuse that has been cut right to the bottom. Uh, and an explosion rocks his hand, and you can see why maybe his fingers are so blackened. But a um, uh, blast comes and deposits itself right in front of your two feet as sparklers uh, uh, really detonate all around you and try to cling to your clothes, as I need both of you guys to make dexterity saving throws. Including the guy with us is fighting us? Nope, he sculpts it in such a way that he catches you guys on a diagonal. Uh, Natural does, 20. I don't like you anymore. <laughs> oh, you're, it's coming back. Coming back. Does Danger Sense apply? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Let's see. Uh, not bad. It's, uh, it's a 16. Yep. <laughs> yep. 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 Everything's going wrong. <laughs> uh, that's the end of that. We're going to move on to Tala's turn. As Brodine goes... That should have worked. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. Tala is going God. to scramble the rest of the way up the ladder. Someone I know that bad. when I'd gotten to this point, I had like I think it was feet. like twenty feet of movement left, you so I would. So, so, have so five it's ten more up. Ten more to finish. It's, it is a fifth. Uh, oh yeah, do you wanted but to climb part way up the ladder. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So ten feet to get me to the top mm -hmm. yep. remaining. I assume if we've been working and walking around that I have my water skin on me. It's your call, though. We've been um, working long days on a wall. Roll me a d20. Roll sure. a d20. 11. Yeah, it was 10 or, it was 10 or higher. You, you do. Cool. I will uncap my water skin. And I will pour it onto the three ropes. You cannot pour it onto the three ropes. <laughs> I will pour so it this, onto the shortest this, this rope. This thing is 30 feet wide. So there is no, like, there is no, I can easily, easily catch all three ropes just for ease of access. I will not be cheesed on this. <laughs> yeah. I need to have That's a cool. stake in this battle. No, uh, and fuses totally, are made totally. to yeah. I think, I think yeah. you said the middle the one. The middle was one was burning out fastest. So... I will go to the middle one and yep. I'll put that out. I don't know if that's an action or bonus action. That will be an action to that uncork an it action. and make sure that you are pouring it out. That would be an action the way you were describing it. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah. When you squeeze your bottle, <laughs> yeah. Kind of good. Just talk some smack if you want. That would be. 
I can't do anything else. This is really bad. This is a good turn. This is a good, this this is a good turn. Success. I'm just saying. This is like, a success. This is... You think this is frustrating? <laughs> <laughs> you can, you can Let me tell you much. about how long I've had this guy static <laughs> out. Oh my god. <laughs> you you can take the dodge as a bonus action if you want. Not, well, not without points. costing a key yeah. point rate. So I will, I don't, I don't have anything. So uh, everything else depends on an attack. So I am done. Okay, but you do taking your action successfully nice. pour out this one that was sputtering and you could see like even jumping further quickly along the rope. Uh, and he goes, no, Stern, you're ruining everything. That's good. You're right beside him too. That's great. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's your turn. Mm-hmm. Okay, excellent. It's a great turn. Uh, I need each of you to roll a d20, please. Four. Ten. Uh, four, you just beat the threshold for things going bad, but both of those two uh, decrease uh, once more, getting closer to the end of the uh, strange casing that is down there. Okay. Okay, Lior, that's your turn. And so they're going down and off the edge to something on the ground? No, 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 no. It looks like they're leading to whatever that stuff is up there. Yeah, oh, so they're, it's they're from down going, going up? Way. Oh, they're off the edge going that way? <clears throat> yeah, they're the they're off the edge because that is the length that I cut them. He <laughs> lit so, three so wicks. He, he, he lit okay, the tips thought, over here they and they're the working their the way wall. this way. But it's, it's nope. base of the wall close to the... Yeah. They are on the, they're on the scaffolding um, where, where Brodine is and Tala is. But uh, it looks like the Kay. wicks are leading down to there. Ugh. Wish I was the <sighs> I'm going to. Uh, that would really come in handy. Haste. <laughs> <laughs> really I should try haste. that. That's <laughs> sure. great. Dirk I'm thinks going to lying on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> I nearly twinned it. That would have been double bad. <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay. That gonna, was my debate. Hey, follow I'm, your heart next time, please. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to see that Dirk is a little bit out of sorts, and I'm going to rush to help Tal to try in whatever way I can. Okay. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, sure. 35. Yep. Gonna take a swing at you as you leave. Yeah. 35, I guess. 40? Is, am I? No, I'd be you're here. You're floating. Yeah. Nope. I'd be here. You have one step. You're in a power lunge. Ooh, I'm, I'm so here. close in yet so far. Yeah, again, that's not really an elevated platform. It's just the easiest way that I could do a sidewalk. Yeah, <laughs> it's, yeah, it's not actually that tall. Uh, okay. Um, Nor are the barrels do... of fire 15 feet in the yeah. air. <laughs> Can Leo do a muscle up? It's 15 feet high. He's about 9 feet. Okay, I'm going gonna... to... Can I have angled myself closer to here? Sure. To be over here? I'm yep. going to action dash. Okay. 5, 10... And then it would take me 30 feet? 30 feet. Lior, I have an important question for you. Yes. How much do you weigh? I weigh. <laughs> oh, do I, did I write it? <laughs> that might be the 340 best. 340 pounds. 340 pounds? You yeah. Step on the ladder and it breaks. <laughs> You're not raging, so you have your wits about you. There is a chance that you will step on the ladder and it will break. <sighs> Kicks the leg out of frustration. <laughs> I mean, if you're tall enough, you but can I just... can't do anything what, what What was your reaction to Merton's uh, muscle-up suggestion? I don't know if you can do a muscle-up. I don't enough. think I can do that as, as a free action. Can I reach? I'm nine foot four. It's a 15 tall foot tall platform. Jump. Vertical jump. Can yeah, I? if you jump, you can grab it. Yeah. Certainly. But can you muscle onto it? Can, are you, I, can I try and do that? <laughs> roll me an uh, roll me an intelligence check first. You risk flipping the scaffold. <laughs> Bring it all down. Honestly, roll me an intelligence that's check. That's not the worst thing. <laughs> it's a two. <laughs> Plus one, three. You might be able to get up there. I'm going for it. Okay. Oh lord, it is the worst thing. The bombs go flying <laughs> into the bins. <laughs> oh jeez. Glunk, glunk. Magically flip through the air. <laughs> I need to roll a what? Uh, athletics check. Athletics check. It's like a 27. Okay. Yeah, you can get your way up there. What happens, though? <laughs> <laughs> Don't play with me, Bradley. You get up, and immediately you're like fast 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 with, uh, with Brodine, and as soon as this happens, it <laughs> is swaying, and it is precarious now, the way it is angling. And Brodine immediately looks... 
uh, panicked and looks back at them and goes to secure them so that they like don't fall. Oh. Almost. How does um, he secure them? With a legendary action? He's not. <laughs> <laughs> With flavor! <laughs> he very flavorfully looks and it, just goes it, and touches them and mechanically changes nothing, nothing. about anyone's life. <laughs> I march into two points of psychic damage and one point of fire damage. <laughs> That was a mean look. <laughs> Listen, I know you're like using spells, but I'm raging this fight. <laughs> you I'm can get up sure there, but can... it is precarious. Anytime any of the three of you makes a movement, things list <laughs> uncomfortably. Go up here. <laughs> yep. I've made a mistake! <laughs> <laughs> Take the bomb down with you! <laughs> sure. What? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, is that the end of your turn? Uh, that, yes, yeah, that's all I can do. Excellent. That is going to bring us to... It's not good for Paige! Paige. <laughs> Tell people to stay with Paige. <laughs> she needs help! <laughs> you uh, stay with Paige! Well, I will now! <laughs> <laughs> I have one attack. Um, <laughs> Paige is... Paige is feeling a little bit... No. <laughs> Alone. Paige... <laughs> Unguarded, no. Paige looks at the man and says, the false dragon will fall and you all will be scattered to the wind like dust, you fools. And just the word fool starts to ring, fools, fools, fools. And that will, I will be twin casting dissonant whispers on both of them. Ooh, that's nice. Interesting, interesting. Okay, what's my save? It's gonna be a wisdom save. DC 16. Okay. Uh, muscles fails. Wait, yeah, yeah, it could be. But yeah, that's, no. yeah, that's muscles fails. Uh, Slick succeeds with a seventeen. Oh, okay. Ooh. Only right. because they have proficiency in wisdom. Oh, next time. All right, so that will be three d six. I'm giving away information for no reason. <laughs> uh, ooh, that's good. Not bad. Um, yeah. Good for you. Must be nice. Fourteen. <laughs> <laughs> I felt so bad for him. 14 no, damage. No, no, I'm fine. Keep on. What? <laughs> 14 damage for muscles and 7 damage for uh, slick. Okay. And uh, muscles, I believe, will try and use run. his reaction. Yeah. 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 Use reaction to run as far as they can. Uh, so that's going to be 30 feet away. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Perfect. Um, can I take a reaction on my turn to, to hit him with a fist? I don't think so because it's forced movement. Is it's it? It's actually yes. not yeah. forced movement. It's not forced yeah. movement. Oh, no, He's taking right. willingly his reaction. Uh, that's to right. Move. I was yes. trying to hit slick. I don't so like. You could get, yeah. I don't like that at all. But you could try and punch <laughs> this person. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> punch. Him. Yeah. Um. Because I wouldn't have a dagger. No, nearby. you wouldn't have a weapon out. Like hit him you. with your sling. No. <laughs> that's that not how like, it works. Yeah. Don't fall, y'all. <laughs> What am I doing rolling a d6? It's probably what my attack would be. Honestly, yeah, yeah, yeah. Very realistic. That's a four minus one is a three. Okay, well, if you had hit, you would have done one minus one damage. I know that's not how it works. Uh, you you do that and, like, too late, go, like, and stay out! <laughs> and just, like, hit the corner of the wagon and go, ha, ha, ha. Uh, Nearly lose my balance. Uh, we'll use 30 feet to run. Um, I'm going to run around forward, but trying to avoid uh, the other one. So behind Dirk. Okay, behind Dirk. 5, 10, 15, 20, You'll be getting closer to that. 25, 30, yeah, exactly. Okay. And once I get... uh, Yeah, that's right. Cool, cool. Am I closer to him? I am closer to him. Okay, ah, shoot. Do you want to move? Because I don't have to... You can move... uh, You can get here if you want. Um, Can't you go up on the sidewalk? You can go up the other oh, way. Oh no, I, I forgot I can, yeah, yeah. I can climb on. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Yeah, I'm gonna. Yeah, yeah, it's just sidewalk, I'll ju- so. I'll just run 30 feet, yeah, yeah looping 10, around. 15, 20, 20, 20 by 30? Yeah, exactly. Is that all I can do? Oh, shoot. Okay. I'm not sure you put him right back on the same spot, but it's fine. One, two. I was there, I think. Either way, you should be able to get into this range, right? Four, five, six. six. Yeah, you yeah. should be able to get into this range. Exactly, that makes sense. Okay, perfect. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. 
Um, that will be the end of my turn. That will be the end of your turn, okay. Uh, at the end of your turn, uh, just looking and seeing uh, uh, with like great fear uh, w- the plan unraveling, um, is just going to turn and uh, taking his striker go over onto uh, a wrist um, uh, that has uh, a glove attached to it with a bunch of small little uh, blasts and just strike one and aim it at you no, no. Uh, and uh, take a pot shot at you Please, no. with a cantrip mortar. <laughs> I don't know why I chose to attack you. I'm never going to hit you. I see and I do Captain America put my shield up. <laughs> uh, and, and this little <laughs> erupts in a burst of flame against your shield that you block nice. uh, unless uh, for some reason now a 16 hits you. <laughs> unfortunate. Unfortunate. Okay. Uh, that is going to come up to uh, Brodine's turn who's going to look and go Hmm. Maybe time to bring out the big guns, yes. Uh, and picks up um, a, a tube, and you can just see the two of you guys. You can see loaded within it is a uh, melon-sized oh, no. leather ball <laughs> that a just persimmon. just points, <laughs> and you see a persimmon streaking towards you at the speed of light as strikes it and cannonades something right at you. That's, Does he have that's... disadvantage because Tal's in within five feet of him and he's making a range shot? Uh, no, because these are reflavored spells. Okay. okay. These yes. are not uh, ranged attacks. This is the horse god boom. Uh, <laughs> and I need you... There's a, there's a cop right there. <laughs> that's how I saw this happening. Uh, hmm, actually... No, that's not how that works. I changed it to work some other kind of way. It's an attack like it. roll on you first. Ah. Unfortunately for me, it's an attack roll <laughs> on you. Everything that I could do to try and give myself advantage failed, so uh, <laughs> it's an attack roll. That is a natural 20. Oh, oh God. It hurts. It hurts. This ball. Is it like a minus one to the modifier? <laughs> you know? You know? Uh, no, it's a 27. No. Oh, no. It hurts. I can hear the dice. Please, no. Okay, so here's what's going to happen. <laughs> okay, that's what's going to happen. This, You're going to kill me? This leather ball comes streaking at you at an ungodly speed. God. And it collides with your chest. <laughs> and blood pops out. <laughs> Uh, yeah, a little, a little, gems. a little flower clown style pops up. <laughs> oh no! This is not good. You take twenty-five points of bludgeoning damage. So we do. And as it impacts, oh, no. you have a horrifying moment where you just see you guys seeing what has happened, and Paige standing over there. You just see it go <laughs> and erupt. Oh no! And I need. Both of you guys to make dexterity oh saving throws. Goodness. Oh goodness! Jesus! What? All of these like weapons and things that he's picking up are they all up top? He has. Uh, you can you can see that he has most of these things like sort of on his person, like a real gunner. I'm so uh, sorry. <laughs> it's just a trying time. You, just you can see that there's a. Uh, you can see there's a couple other of these like uh, large leather balls like sitting on the side, but it looks like most of them are things that he has rigged up to his person. Okay. Um. Is skinny, uh, skinny flaunty caught in that too? A skinny flaunty absolutely has right, to good. make a dexterity save, good, which good. I will do right now. All right, eleven. Uh, okay, eleven. That's a failure. That's a failure for me. It's a natural twenty. Good for you. So you're only going to take half damage here. Oh my god. Sorry, right, Dirk's Dirk's down, guys. Dirk. Did you did you what was he? What did you roll? No, I rolled an eleven. Oh. Hmm, sorry, I need one more. Oh. 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 So I hope someone. I need help! I have a salve for that. Uh, Unfortunately, it's interrectal. (laughs) (laughs) You've got to love this, Dirk. (laughs) Swear jar. (laughs) It's medicinal. Paige, you take 18 points of fire damage. Oh, sorry, excuse me, that's incorrect. You take 8 points of fire damage. (laughs) Sorry? Nine? Nine. Nine. Nine Nine points of fire damage. Easy. And you take 17 points of fire damage. <laughs> Did you have 18 left? No. 17. Oh, no. 
Oh my god! As fire Great, erupts, yeah. Five, and eight, uh, the the five, the facade seven, of this building next to you is burning, and and this uh, this person just goes ah and didn't get their hand up in time, and you could see just like trying desperately to get uh, the flames out on their person, but turning to face the combatant who might have an advantage on them, they see Dirk. And I just fall forward and collapse after. I probably, like, after I blocked the first one, I was like, ha! Huh? Is that all you got? <laughs> Very a la Bellatrix. Oh. Yeah, and just uh. fall as, as this has now made a <laughs> sound, and you can hear people within their homes uh, starting to stir, uh, and, and uh, seconds later, probably in the next round, you would start to hear a bell ringing in the distance. And uh, takes the striker and points it to the mortar that has been put out and says, you can all go that way, yes? And that's going to be the end of his turn. It's going to be the thug's turn. <laughs> oh, no. Who I don't believe has the movement to get anywhere. Let's go to one, two, three, four, five. Hey, yeah. Hey, yes. Kind of just jump over there uh, and just running towards you, singed this huge figure coming back towards you. Where are you going? Actually, they're going to dash and get to you. Mm. Oh! They can't do anything. Do you want me to... That's okay. You got it? Yeah, okay. you got it. Thank you, though. Um, can't do anything, but just gets over you and glowers. And says, this is no place for a little girl. That's rude. This it is. Rude. I'm a rude guy. <laughs> okay. Yeah. This Dirk. is the nat 20. This is oh, Europe. come on. Oh, Jesus. If I can get a nat 20, that'd be really... By the light! <laughs> It was, it was uh, I got a four, so a four. I have one failure. One oh. one failed death save. Okay. Right. Seeing the dire straits that the uh, seeing Dirk down and seeing the dar- dire straits that the leader seems to be in, um, this uh, uh, bandit individual is going to. Take a shot at Leor. Uh, just with a dagger. Okay. Uh, 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 take a. Actually, I, th- I believe they take uh, a dagger throw at each of you. They, they're able to take two dagger throws. Just pulling daggers out of who knows where. Um, Underwear. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Very uh, uh, Tal, Leor. Go. Uh, Lior, that'll hit with mm-hmm. a 21. Mm-hmm. Tal, that is a 14. Nope. Hard no. Uh, you just... Would you? Yeah. Uh, just, just sort of block it off with a wrist. Uh, Lior, that is going to come in at you and deal you... There you go. There's the other side of the coin. Uh, nine points. I rolled the wrong dice. I'm sorry. That's not possible. It's a dagger. <laughs> uh, I was going to be like, that is a he, bonus. He goes still max. max out to dick. Still max. Uh, seven points of uh, piercing damage as a dagger sh- uh, sticks into your shoulder, but you just look down and see that the only reason they're coming for you is because Dirk is lying motionless on the ground. Mm-hmm. Nine is possible with a four on a d4 with max dex. They don't don't have max deck, so that's <laughs> henceforth. Um, okay, that is going to come to the end of their turn, but Brodine is going to reach into their bag of tricks once more, uh, and uh, and. Mm, thinking of that Santa episode where Santa kept reaching in and putting out children. It's <laughs> like, no, not another one. <laughs> oh, God. A horrifying combat, truly. Um, uh, they are going to... You're going to have to explain that. Right? <laughs> Just we'll figure we don't it out talk as... about the children. Yeah, you know what? It's going to happen. They are going to just pull the striker that they have um, and... Uh, uh, oh no, that's not how the spell works. Never mind. 
Uh, they're gonna uh, take one mortar that they sort of like looks like it's more of like a cardboard casing and just rip it open and as like this phosphorus sort of emerges from it they just strike it and it jets out at you guys uh, like a set of burning hands <laughs> <laughs> and so I need you guys both to make uh, deck like saves it. I believe it is 18 18 that's a 25 insane okay so they'll t- half uh, great roll that's a shame uh, you each take on a half damage uh, seven points of fire damage um, uh, and uh, is just going tick tock um, uh, and that is going to be your turn Tala I thought you came before me for some reason nope. 18 you got 20 yeah mm-hmm. you're up oh, okay I'm going to put out the one that is closest to exploding. Okay. Uh, is it the left or the right? Both of them. Same. Same? Same point. So. I will say, you do not have the water to put out another one, but you're welcome to try and find another means of putting one out. Oh. At the end of a long day of work, you had enough water to put out one. Wish I'd known that about a round ago. <laughs> now I don't know how I'm putting it out. <laughs> to invent a way. I will. It's it, like I'm not. I'm not. I'm not gonna be. I'm not gonna be a scumbag about this. <laughs> Just tell me how you want to put it out, and I'll tell yeah, you. Exactly. Well, yeah. I guess I'll. I'll grab a dagger and slice off the the twine. A hundred percent. And it's like a little bit dicey as you get nervous as you're seeing it slide closer and closer. Uh, and uh, you do manage to uh, shanks just slice it off, yeah. um, and another one seems to be put out. Okay, that was. Uh... Would that be considered an attack action? Ooh! Since you used a weapon, I would argue that that is considered an attack action. Good would I be able to use my second attack to do the same thing to the other rope? I would require... So remember when I said I don't want to be cheap? <laughs> <laughs> yes. It could be like a use an object. Yes. Um, yes. Rather than yes, an I attack. I don't, I don't um, but if you've already taken the attack action, you know, a use an object rather than an attack. Yeah, it, it's um, messy. I don't know. I just just leave it as an action. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're you're on a tight. I'm not. You're I'm, in a I'm tight, not. I'm not attacking you're in a tight the space. rope. I'm sawing. At you're the in a tight rope, space, so, yeah. and Brodine is between you and the rope. Cool. Yeah. Would I be able to attack Brodine? Uh, you can certainly attack Brodine. Okay. I think that is more in the uh, reality okay. of like efficiency of movement. Sorry. Okay. I'm going to punch him in the face. I'm afraid of what you guys have been whispering. Nothing. <laughs> 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 oh my god. Wow. Really the excitement is very real. Natural one. Oh. Okay. Oh, uh, that misses. Um. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Bonus Brad. attack. Yeah. Yeah. No. Bonus action. Yeah. We go. yeah. <laughs> Three. Oh my god. Um. Uh, let me check that also. Okay. I'll just bleed uh, out here on the floor. Ten. That's a ten to hit. Uh. A ten will miss. Uh, Tao is full of the same nervous energy as Michelle. And, uh, that will be, um... I'm gonna, like, squeeze out of Lior's way. I'm gonna try to squeeze between these two bombs. Can I do that? Uh, you could, yeah. You gotta be, like, sort of perched on them. They're not, like, high up off the ground. You can sort of perch on them. He okay. is, a. Uh, He's, uh, part of the reason why you miss is that he's waving this, like, red-hot poker around at you, and so you're just, like, just dodging out of the way of that. Yeah. Uh, and he looks at you and goes, Tough place to be in, dear. Better than going boom. <laughs> Maybe we go boom together. Oh, boy. Is that, <laughs> the, end of, is that the end of your turn? Yeah. Okay. Oh, boy. Um, uh, Victor, you've only rolled once. Mm-hmm. And you rolled really bad the first time, so I'm going to pick on you again. Sure. I need you to roll a d20 for the one remaining spark. <laughs> 16. 16 is a... As normal. Uh, it ticks down once again. Very close mm-hmm. to the end of its wick. That's unfortunate. Very mm-hmm. close to the end of its wick. Do it. Because I'm not going to. No. 
<laughs> He's like, I can rebuild the wall. I can't take this guy out. No. It's your turn. Yeah. So Lior will see Dirk go down. Mm -hmm. And something in him snaps. And he's going to, for the first time, stop fighting the rage that's building within him. And he's going to let it take over. And he's going to go into a frenzied rage as he closes the distance and just lets Brodine stick the poker into him and then take his hammer and hit him off the oh. thing. <laughs> I'm going to recklessly attack. <laughs> Sick. Sick. Hey, Victor. Sick. <laughs> Natural 20. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. The dice love the narration. Oh, man. Okay, you did say you the poker... Uh, oh, 100%. Uh, you take three points of fire damage. <laughs> Bring it. Uh, wow. Did you just write 51? Yeah. <laughs> It's wow. more. He started. He's and now it more health than wow. I started. Wow. Okay. Roll me some. Roll me some damage. Twice as much as I Roll me some have. damage as you have been going. No. Eight sixes. We grow. We regrow things. We regrow things, and then you turn around and you watch a tree get chopped down, and you just go, and you turn and you're standing on the remains of what should have been a proud grove, and you just think. No, this isn't right. This isn't right. This isn't right. Sometimes things just won't grow. Sometimes you have to raise the earth. And you just fully lose it. Like a full, like, like a monster growl. Not like a war cry. A monster growl as you go for it. Yeah. Roll some dammies. It turns into the Ogier. Not bad. That page created for the other guy. So that's 22 bludgeoning damage. Oh my god. I'm going to use the crusher feet to shove him five foot off the edge. Okay. okay, okay. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Yeah, yeah. For sure. Tight, 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 tight. <laughs> and he'll take two points of falling damage. <laughs> For once, my bad damage rolls benefit me. <laughs> and then I'm going to jump off and bring the hammer down on him as I come oh jumping my after him. With oh advantage. my god. Um, yeah, I'm going to say because it wasn't like him jumping off, he is just prone. And you are, like, reckless and everything, yeah. so... Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Kill me. Yeah, <laughs> like, this is... Uh, ooh, no, okay. You see after the first hit that he took that he's down on the ground, but he's not, like, uh, Like, he's just, like, scrambling. Yeah. Uh, it's a dirty 20. Uh, still will hit. Still yeah. will hit. Still good. Uh, 14 points of bludgeoning damage. Very nice, very nice. You see that you guys had previously not made a mark on Brodine, but Liorge, at seeing his friend go down, just fully loses it. Fully loses every bit of composure that he's held on to, and uh, just just goes sicko mode. <laughs> no, 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 no other word I could say. Unreal. And you just are towering over him. <laughs> I don't know. What is going on with this? I'll take. Uh, it's because we're all shaking. I'll take, <laughs> do you round down or round up for damage? Uh, round up. Perfect. So I'll take four points as I jump. I seven rounded down to four as I jump off the edge to to hit him. I appreciate you voluntarily taking that. Wow. Just That's a lot of damage. Yeah. If only Dirk had seen that happen. Uh, <laughs> Zach is impressed. Dirk knows nothing. That's awesome. Yeah, Dirk knows nothing but uh, is that the end of your turn, Leon? Yes. No, that's you have very a cool. third. I, I rage on this turn. You bastard. Paige, you're up. You right. are in the midst of a imposing figure, still singed, still feeling the effects of this fire blast. Uh, what do you do? Um, as I watch him running towards me, do I notice him wearing any armor? Uh, not like great armor. Not great armor? No, it seems to be leathery. Leathery. Mm. All right. It's fine. I... If I catch your drift. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I am going to try and hit him with a shocking grasp. Okay, cool. Um, I will describe it if it connects, but if it doesn't, I will describe it. Not connect. <laughs> Not connect. Uh, excellent. Not excellent. It is... 13. That'll hit. Oh, that'll hit. That'll hit. Oh, fantastic. That'll okay. hit. Um, I'm going to say, okay, I 
it goes like this. One, and I'm gonna do a chop. Mm-hmm. And I assume it's not really gonna catch. And then two, cha. And then there's gonna be like a, a charging sound, like and then I'm gonna go for a kick in the balls. <laughs> yeah. And um, as it connects, I'm gonna say, thank you, Adelaide Sedai. And I'm going to run over to Dirk. Okay, uh, roll damage. Perfect. And you, as, as you channel these weaves of air and fire, and it's counterintuitive, but there is a significant amount of earth that has to go on. And fire and earth are no easy feat for most Ace to die, but this is a little trick you picked up, certainly. A little down and dirty trick that you picked up from Adelaide Sedai. That's right, one of her favorites. Uh, it is eight points of lightning damage. Uh, you see on the verge uh, of, of falling falling down, like just barely avoiding uh, get it, barely able to get it back up from a knee, this <laughs> looking back up at you. I felt that. Um, yep. Uh, haven't we all? <laughs> haven't we most? Haven't we most? Yeah. I have no um, idea what you're talking about. As it connects, I'm going to hover for a second and then run over to Dirk. Yeah. And um, reach into my pouch and say, oh, this, this was from a, a coca leaf, but we'll, we'll try this. And she takes out a white powder and starts smearing it in Dirk's mouth. And as she does channel, um, she's going to uh, take on the channeling of the wind and water and moisture and just try and withdraw the element of life and the element of movement and try and fuse them, um, helping the white paste uh, as I quicken a second level cure wounds. Wow. Very nice. Very nice. Go ahead and roll for that. That's really dope. Wow, that's sick. Clutch move. Oh, this is good. This is is going well. Mm. Um, This is going to be... This is going well. (laughs) <laughs> That's... He says, looking dead into the camera. <laughs> That's 19 points of healing. I'm, I'm happy you're happy. <laughs> 19? An 8 and a 6 plus 5. Wow! That's crazy. That's incredible. Dirk, you... Gasp. <laughs> feel a high that you have never felt. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> as as uh, Paige rubs white powder under your lip. Uh, I've heard up in the gums. <laughs> yep, yep. Amazing. You <laughs> take a breath and... <gasps> uh, <gasps> and as this surge of life comes back to you, you're desperately clawing for anything to cling to life with. I need you to make a wisdom save with disadvantage. Do, do, do. Mm. You can do it. Do, 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 do. What am I making, wisdom? Wisdom save. Nine. Uh, you feel as you come back to life and Paige is trying to be comforting over you, you just see the still uh, singed uh, hair uh, that is still sort of like embered and glowing on Paige's hair and you feel an intense need to do what you can to stop this. And that is what you're feeling as you come back up. Oh my god. Can you repeat that one more time? I'm stressed. <laughs> you awake and feeling this charge of life. Oh, you're like God. desperately almost clawing for any source of life that you can. And you see as if through a pool at the bottom of the pool, you see the biggest source of life and liveliness that you can possibly reach for. And you feel seeing how much in danger everyone is. Paige is trying to look comforting at you, but you can see how haggard she is. Still hearing the sounds of fighting, Lior screaming, you feel an intense desire to do everything you can. Okay. 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 Is it my turn? It is not your turn. Oh, thank God. It is not your turn. I mean, thank Process. the light. Thank the light. <laughs> Give me a moment. It is Brodine's turn. And Brodine is going to uh, seeing Lior all over uh, just go You're running out of time, big one. And uh, just real, real Iron Man style <laughs> just like lean out uh, with an arm and uh, light something that is attached to his forearm uh, that shoots out um, towards uh, you guys as four little spiraling 
beams um, emerge and shoot at the two of you, uh, for which I need to roll. Does he know I'm conscious? What's that? Does he know I'm conscious? Uh, I think so. Okay, that's fair. Yeah, I think yeah, so. Yeah, I yeah. think so. It's good. When you come back to life, it's not like a, I wait for your turn and then you wake up. You, <gasps> it's it's a dramatic thing. He's lying on the ground. You're lying on the ground. You kind of catch your eyes lying on the ground. Moment. You're having a moment. <laughs> Gertrude's lying on the ground. <laughs> uh, so I to need you. to roll. He's going to direct two at each of yeah. you. So I need to roll uh, uh, attacks for each oh, of those. Okay. Uh, let me just make sure I'm doing this right because it is a slight variation from what I'm used to. Uh, yep. Uh, you're prone. I am prone. I need to roll with disadvantage for you. Okay, and in I, that case, I seeing already... that Paige is about to take both of these things, I'm going to just, like, toss my shield up and give one of those attacks disadvantage. Nice. Okay, so three attacks with disadvantage. So first one for you. Um, does an 18 hit? I just hit, yeah. Oh okay, goodness. so the first one does hit you. Second one on you. Uh, also going to hit. Nice. 22. Oh my goodness. Oh boy. Um, first one on page. Disadvantage. That is a miss. A, t- a three. A uh, ten. Second one on page. Another three. Solid. That's a miss. As you, oh. coming back to life, seeing immediately just like the frailty uh, of the person in front of you, you take these two shots and almost like, in, still in the healing moment, Paige, you feel like a need and you let down your defenses and you go to like, try and like, tend to the blast that Dirk has taken, but that leaves you open and you just throw up a shield. Uh, you do take... Weird D4. Uh, you do take um, 12 points of force damage. It hurts. As they pew, 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 uh, come in and hit you. Yeah. Uh, that is going to be. Uh, Brodine's going to stand back up. Mm-hmm. Uh, and is just going to stand there and say, Oh, come on, big guy. Let's finish it, yes. Uh, that's the end of Brodine's turn. It is the uh, ball stricken yes. thug's turn. <laughs> <laughs> who. Has been hurt pretty bad by Paige. Uh, I'm going to f- uh, flip a coin, as it were. Morale check. Um, one to two, it goes to Dirk uh, with advantage. Uh, three to four, it goes to Paige because he's angry. It's a three. Ooh. Ooh. I rather mm-hmm. kind of go to me. To be Comes honest. in and swings at you uh, and says, uh, Ow, that hurt. <laughs> well, I, I, you know when you say and says and then don't yeah. have anything? She says, ow, that hurt. I mean, ow, that hurt. You have a moment of recognition like, oh, he's faking the low voice. Uh, the rocks, they're coming. I know exactly what you mean. The first strike at you is a 17. <laughs> 17 hits. Uh, first strike deals six points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. Second strike comes in at you as well. That's a natural one. Oh. Oh. Woo. Said, Hi, look at Paige. On the edge, right. yo. Uh, how much? Uh, was six points, seven points? Uh, seven points. Seven points, okay. So I know you're like a less than half health with we're, 15 we're damage. At, we're looking at even. We're looking at even. You and I. <laughs> Strong. Good. No, I'm pretty sure he has more health than you right now. Yeah, I yeah, might. Has, yeah. It might. You yeah. did a real good heal. That yeah. is the end. Was it a ranged attack? No, no, this is club. No, club. Club. Okay, club. That is the end of their turn. Apologies. Dirk, it is your turn, and you feel a need to use what is at your disposal. Yeah. So here's the biggest issue. Mm-hmm. How weak is he looking? Who? The black guy. <laughs> <laughs> Very. Very. The, the 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 bludgeoner. Yes. Uh, see that he's got a club and he's an immediate threat. I am going to just reach out and make an attack um, mm-hmm. to see if I can fell this man. Okay. Um, fell my man. Seeing how hard that thing hit me and feeling just like a brief moment of like, I just lost track of time and I was, what the heck just happened? These guys aren't messing around. Um, 
I'm attempting to like cut off a leg and I'm not trying to do this. I'm trying to injure him to the point where like if he dies, I don't care. But my goal is to just incapacitate to the nth degree. Sure, absolutely. Take a swing. He's allowed to kill people. <laughs> 24. 24 super hits. We talked about this. <laughs> it's going to be 13 damage. It's going to be 13 damage, okay. Yeah. You go to swing out at a leg, and just seeing, having slammed down at Paige, like a full, like, you actually get oddly, like, graceful. And in the moment, uh, and you take a swing and cut clean through the leg. Uh, and there is a brief moment when he is alive and horrified, and just like, ah, ah, and then falls to the ground, holding the leg until uh, the hands grow limp and is no more. Um, and Paige, I'll like cross vision with you just cause I'm turning like sword in hand. Um, and usually I look stoic and I want to do things, but now Dirk is looking angry. You can see his eyes are like bloodshot. Um, and the entire time he's just like muttering to himself. No one left, kill them all, kill them all. They're done. And I'm gonna move this way, five, 10, 15. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Yep. And I'm going to take my action surge. Okay, first I need you to roll a d20 for me. Yeah. I missed this. Yep. A three. You are overcome with this. I have to kill them all. I have to kill them all. And it's distracting to you. And uh, you feel this, I have to kill them all. And you're walking towards the target and you see the target, but you blink and all of a sudden the green eyes and the blonde hair are staring at you from a couple different directions and you aren't sure where to swing and you blink again and it's just the one target. You take another step, blink, your father is looking at you going, Dirk, this is not who I raised and swings a hand at you and you blink again and it's just the one figure. You're going to have disadvantage on any attacks you make until you can break yourself out of this state, but you still feel this overwhelming okay. desire to do what you can. Okay. Okay. I am going to disadvantage. Oh. They're both 12s. Oh, so that's yes. going to be an 18 to hit. Yes. Super hits. Super hits. I am yes. going to make that a trip attack as I try to slice off this guy's legs. Okay. And oh I'm going to... That's not what trip means, but no. I... <laughs> as I come in, I go... That's one way of tripping someone. I, I go, you will burn in the light! And I'm going to dump a divine smite into that. Oh my god. Absolutely. Uh, so you don't I... need to cut off the legs if you burn off the legs. D8 <laughs> so for that. D8 Solves for that. trip attack. They all count as trips. Two yeah. D8s for that. Oh my god. Uh, oh, oh. oh my god. 16, 22, 24, 30 damage. You all watch as uh, swinging out wildly and screaming, you will burn in the light! Like, almost like madness is in you are frenzied and you look and you see you are not even uh, people refer to your kind as beasts when they aren't familiar and in this moment you are one and you look at Dirk and you see the only kindred spirit that exists in this continent mm. as you just lay to waste and Paige you could swear that you would imagine that the sword would have to stop somewhere that it would cut off this person's legs if it went through, but all that happens is the sword passes through as it becomes a beam of radiant light slashing through as he just, ah! just this awful scream as light rends this person. And at this, Brodin looks over where he is and he goes, Kindred of the Chosen. Um, and I'll just raise my sword, just ready to advance, and with a bonus action, take a second win and go, You will all burn. No one is kindred. Ooh. We all burn in the cleansing fire of the dragon's breath. Brother. Yes. And I'll just kind of, like, shake my head and just, I'm not able to focus. I just, I hear that and it sounds odd to me, but at the same time, it sounds, like, comforting. I just kind of drift off as I look at him as if, like, he's my next target. Yeah, yeah, and, you know, it's just, like, this odd thing of, like, this, the, the old, the old 
like brothers at arms that you had with the people in your squad and it's all of a sudden brother you wish to be part of something brother yes yes chosen chosen crystallizes I've told you this whole time you're chosen for something Dirk the usual voice is back and I'll just roll my d10 for that bonus action hey, totally that. we're not gonna stress yeah we're good From the floor, I don't believe I can do that, actually. No, I don't have enough. No, it's like 20 feet with the angle. I can't hit tell. Bummer. <laughs> also, it would have been like so much cover. Uh, <laughs> like just through the slots of this thing. Uh, insane. But desperate times call for desperate measures. Uh, Brodine is going to use a... Uh, legendary action at disadvantage just to fire off one of the small bolts right directly at you. Uh, so with disadvantage, a ranged attack. Uh, will a 15 hit? 15 will hit. Okay. As this little fire sparkler uh, just you are such a big target that he couldn't possibly miss. Mm. Um, and it deals you 18 points of fire Ooh. damage. Oh. A good roll. Jeez Louise. The smoke will just clear and it's just like burns, but like yeah. no change in emotion. <laughs> yeah, and he's going, uh, and he's, he's going, uh, brother, we must reshape the world and get rid of those who are not in our image. Yes, yes, you will burn. He's not burning. <laughs> <laughs> he looks angrier. <laughs> uh, that's going to come to Tal's turn. Tal, what's up? I'm going to put out the last bomb. As truly... If you were, if you had an initiative 19, this whole platform would have blown. Because <laughs> this is a lair action 20, but losing ties in initiative. Uh, oh. You are able to go with your dagger. Jeez. Alert, baby! And just <laughs> slice the last. I hate feats. Why do I always give you guys a free feat? I do this to myself! I rolled an 11 for my initiative. I uh, plus 9. So <laughs> stupid, insane. dude. So stupid. Uh, and you slice it off, and Brodine just hears the end of a fizzling that's been. And hears it stop, and he, down on below, just goes, and looks and sees that nothing went off, and goes, no, uh, just furious that his plan has gone wrong. Uh, wow. Wow, nicely done, Tala. Yes. Um, would you like to do anything else with your turn? I will say that you have made your way over to the left, directly on top of Brodine, and I will. Last time it didn't make sense because Brodine was in the way, but you've sliced this thing and now directly beneath you is Brodine. If you want to fall down and attack Brodine, you absolutely may. Yes, please! <laughs> Alright. Um, I'm going to use my second attack. Yes. Natural two. I'm going to use my flurry of blows. Ooh, very cool, yes. very cool. Oh, no. That's a bad. 13? 13 is a miss. And I figured AC's 14. I think. I think. You I hit him on a 14. You don't know. I no. I didn't hit him. No, no. Yes. He's a he's a heavy one. Come on. I'm I'm getting rid of you. 14. That's a miss. You're yeah. you're, you're, cool. you're not you're not playing anymore. Uh, and Brodine is just like now furious again and warding you off with the light. He goes. Oh oh oh. oh. Hey hey. hey. <laughs> <laughs> Can you make a strength save Focused for aim. Can I make a strength save for you? For my trip attack. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Focused aim. What's that? You can add. Nope. Fail. Prone? You can add or something. It's something that monks can do to attacks, yeah. I can add key points to increase my hit. Oh, you can with Tasha's new rule. Yeah. How many key points do you have left? Two. So boost it up by four? Does I it think go, it boosted up by two. By two each time, I think. I'd have to relook is, it up. Is it two each time, or is it I'll one look, each time? I'll look it up real quick. I, I, can't, I, I can't remember. Do not know. That seems I really good if it was two. Really I would really imagine it's Yeah, I, I, I don't think it is. Because it's I a think single it's attack. One it makes it, I think it's, it's one, one each. time each. Yeah. Do we know what his AC is? No. no. You guys didn't do much to attack him. No. Lior hit him up. Lior literally just like... It doesn't make sense to do it just to hit him once. The lowest hit he received was a dirty 20. 
I won't, yeah, I won't yeah. use it. Okay. Um, but good looking out. That's a cool feature. Yeah, it is. Uh, that's going to be the end of your turn, Tal. Yeah. Okay. Um, at that, seeing Lior uh, getting super ready to get super bad um, uh, is going to... Actually, no, he can't do that from here. I picked bad sp- spell things. <laughs> I, did, I, did, I did a bad job. Um, uh, is not going to do anything right now. Uh, it's going to be Lior's turn. Lior is going to turn him one with the pavement. <laughs> sure. Sure, 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 sure. <laughs> we turn from like, hey guys, we shouldn't kill everyone to we're like, kill everyone. I was about to say, yeah. I like, have been receiving so much flack. I mean, like, Lior will look at what Dirk has done and be like, <laughs> and just kind of like a snort of like, yeah. I didn't mean Fire to. good. <laughs> it wasn't in my right mind. Okay, uh, that's uh, 27 to hit. <laughs> 27 will hit. Can I just roll all three attacks first? Yeah, totally. Uh, that's a 23 to hit. Yeah. Uh, and that's a dirty 20 to hit. Yeah, those oh, all hit. Oh my gosh. So, uh, Leora scares me. Yeah, on, a primal, like... on a primal level. Oh, rolling it all at once, I love that. <laughs> I love that feeling. Do you need more? Plus 15. No, no, this is Plus good. 15. No, plus uh, uh, tw- uh, 15. No, plus 2 for rage. Plus 7 every so time. So 21. Plus 21. <laughs> uh, <laughs> like just, just off the bat, it's just 21. So he takes 42 points of blood. <laughs> Lior, finish it. Yeah, yeah. so the oh first one will hit him God. and break his kneecap. I was going to turn around after this and shoot out fire bolts to try and reignite them. Yeah, yeah wow. I, I knew that. As soon as you were like, jump down, I'm like, he's going to relight them. I'm going to jump out. No, that, it would have been a real bad move. They would have had like a million AC. because <laughs> Yeah, tell me what happens. Yeah, first strike to the knee to break the kneecap. As he goes down, second one to the face. And then as he's lying down, he's just going to hit him as hard as he can in the chest. And just render it concave. Oh gosh! And it will make all the blood just. <laughs> and oh. as you hit him in the knee, it's a family it, show. Uh, as you hit him in the knee, it's falls to a knee and goes, <laughs> beast. Uh, and you hit him in the face, and now with a broken jaw, uh, turns and looks, and you can see uh, on his vest uh, is trying to strike one last thing that he has strapped beneath his armor and goes the dragon's fire will reshape and you just slam down before he can manage to do that there's this weird thing where there's no fire involved but there's like a concussive force in what you have blasted and there is much like those like uh caps that you can like pound against the cement and they just pop with a burst of smoke and just and when the dust settles you just look and there is head shoulders Space, legs, mm. knees and toes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now I'm glad I got womped. Yeah. <laughs> wow, as oh, Lior gosh. ends Brodine. Nice. Just done. Just nice. done. Oh my gosh. Tal looks around. Does she see anybody? Uh, you are hearing voices shouting. Make a perception check for me, Tal. I did a bad job. I skipped the bandit guy's turn. Did you? Uh, no, I think it's... He was dead. No, the bandit guy isn't dead. You just oh, took no, out his legs right. really yeah, strong. Right. Oh, okay. uh, yeah, yeah. He would have used half his movement to stand up. Um, uh, yeah, if Rodin was still if Rodin was still alive, he would have done something else, but I'm going to say he takes a disengage and starts trying to hobble away. So it moves like 15 feet uh, down the road. 16. This way? Yeah. This way? One, yeah. two, three. Or 15. Away. Uh, or, or that way or this way. Uh, no way. He doesn't want to be close to Lior right now. So <laughs> one, two, three. Let's sure. Say? Sure. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what did you roll? Sixteen. Sixteen. Uh, you just catch a second of. Uh, uh, you hear a squeak and you see uh, a horrified Gertrude looking at all of you, just slamming her shutters. Um, and this this person running away. Uh, which person? Oh, and this person running yeah. away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I kind of like, like, kind of tap you both with the backs of my hands, like in your shoulder. We gotta go. Wait, is it your turn? Is it a... 
No, oh, but sorry, no, but that's I... off the perception check. Paige, oh, okay. you are up, but Tal is starting to look around and go, guys, 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 what are you doing? Um, I'm going to step forward and say, you're right, Tal, but we need a witness. And I look at the final th- slick. Sure. And as I go, I'm going to kind of try and catch something. And while whispering different words, there's going to be a thin streak of electricity that's going to appear as I try and lasso uh, the one running away as I cast a I channel to do a lightning lure. Yeah, and I think the movement that you do as you channel is very much a swinging, uh, but it doesn't appear like uh, Wonder Woman style, mm. necessarily. I've never seen it, so I don't know. Uh, her, her lit up lasso. Oh, no, no. But, but what, what you, you do sort of swing around, and when you do this, like, there's that feeling in the air before lightning strikes yeah. of everyone's, like, you feel your hackles rise and, like, a primal, like, <sighs> urge to take cover hits you. Oh, but exactly. as you do, like, sort of open up your palm, it all condenses into a space and tries to draw a line holding you to this person. Uh, what's What do I do? Um, that's a good question. I should have checked. Uh, <laughs> it is um, lightning blow. Um... I will cast Lightning Lure, and I refuse to elaborate. <laughs> <laughs> Just do what you think is right. <laughs> Succeed on a strength saving throw. Ooh, not for spindly. Uh, I got a 16. Oh, Just for spindly! And beats it. Yep. Um, all right. It's uh, if I don't think anything happens. No, nothing happens. Yeah. I'm going to close my hand, pull it back, and then try and quicken another lightning lure with my other hand. Okay. I'm gonna pull it Ooh, back. cantrips? Mm-hmm. My man. Uh, that's a dirty 20. Mm. Just crackling static. It's not working. Just mad fear. You can see that, like, almost, like, the ignorance of any, uh, the fear of whatever abilities you're wielding is overwhelmed by the fear of what they just saw Lior and Dirk do, especially what Dirk just did. They are hobbling, um, not mechanically. Uh, <laughs> is this the guy missing a leg? No, no, no. no the no, guy okay. missing a leg is fully He's dead. Down. This is the one that Dirk did a swing uh, to trip and used the power. Okay. Um, oh, I thought uh, he was down. But is, uh, uh, no, not oh, down. Okay. Just a huge cool. hit, uh, and is uh, uh, frantically trying to run off. And uh, in spite of himself yelling, "Help! Help!" Uh, as they try and run off into the night. Is that your turn, Paige? Uh, that's the end of my turn. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it comes back to the top, and at this point, I'd ask, "What do you guys want to do with this person?" Yeah. So uh, as I'm just as gonna, alarm yeah. bells are ringing, and you're starting to hear shouts of people going. Western Wall, but like it's far away, but you're hearing a march. You're hearing the sounds of voices starting to approach. Do I need to make a wisdom save? Uh, yeah, actually, you need to roll a d20. D20. Yeah. We're gonna go with a big one. Go with a big one. 13. Okay. 13. You have this fire inside of you still, but now you're not feeling like it's dominating you, it's just heightening your senses, and you are looking around and seeing this bad situation around you. Uh, what the hell just happened? What? Oh. oh. What? And I'm just gonna kind of run to that dude. Mm-hmm. What are you gonna do? Man. So I'm not... I'm not fully compelled to You are do not anything. in this moment compelled. You are still holding on to that energy but having released some of it, a measure of control over yourself has returned. Okay. Um, a measure. A measure. I'll still take an attack against him. Okay, go ahead. Um, this one's just for me. Give me a second. <laughs> this is not my attack. Ooh, wow, okay, right down the middle. It looks like again. you have to make your own choice. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that uh, hits. 22 to hit. That hits. And I'm going to make it a trip attack. Okay. Um, Strength? Strength save, please. 16. Ooh. Yeah, that'll save. This guy's very good. He's very strong. <sighs> he is somewhat strong. I'm just rolling 12s and up. Mm. Very good. It's working for him. As I look around, as I like walk to him and make the strike, are there people standing there agape and being like, <gasps> oh my goodness? Uh, make a perception check for me. Okay. Your beloved. 
19. Uh, you are starting to see there's a person opening their door and just screaming. Uh, there, because there was a huge boom, right? Yeah. Uh, their look first is to the wall, which is still intact, but there are people starting to emerge from their homes. Okay. So that'll be oh, 13, 19 damage. Looks super, super, super hurt as they continue to try and hobble away. I've only got that one attack. So then I will get in, look at Tal and Lior, and I go, where are we going? Chapstacks. I guess we have to get our stuff. For the ease of uh, resolving this, he is next in the combat. He is not going to disengage. He is going to dash away. Yeah, so I'll take an opportunity to attack. Sorry, right. 19. It fully rested on the one and, and then the last second. Uh, <laughs> very close. Uh, 19. That, yeah, that hits. Um, and just for poops and giggles, I'll make it a trip attack to get the extra D8. Hilarious. Uh, 11 plus 6, 17. Okay, he both fails the trip and dies. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you do. Are you trying to kill? No, I, I'm not, like now that I have my senses, I would like literally just be trying to incapacitate, like like a a slice him. on the back, so he's like falls unconscious. But, I like, would say with the trip attack, you sever a tendon. Yeah, exactly. Uh, you, you your first swipe uh, doesn't take him down, and you aim lower and just go straight at the Achilles, and uh, just falls to the ground. Uh, and uh, uh, wait, uh, please. Oh, well, actually, I'm so sorry, Brad. This dude saw me channel. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's absolutely. You have a moment where you think mercy, and spins around and looks at you with horror, and goes, "There's maybe there's a place for you north. Maybe I could get you somewhere north." And you hear a voice in your head goes, "He knows." Take care of it. And the moment, like, my face looks actually kind of sad as I, like, put it my sword down, and then for a second I go, kill them all. And I'll just, like, stab it right in his chest and pull a little bit. <laughs> we need to go. And I'll start heading back towards town. And you guys, where are you going? We, we have to go get our stuff at Pendrags. Absolutely. You guys... They would all start to leave, mm -hmm. and Lior would just kind of be standing there swaying, and he would just kind of kneel down, and he doesn't hear any of the alarms or the screams, yep. and he just lies beside uh, Brodine, and he is just slowly realizing what he has done, and he's gently stroking the face uh, like you would when you find your pet hit by a car on the road, just broken and unable to be put back together and just kind of shaking a little bit as he's just soaked in this man's blood. Tal, Tal will come back to pull Lior up. Lior, we, we have to go! I, I think Pagia would have walked to Lior and not touched him, but just waited, just quietly looking down. And you have uh, uh, just, just like a memory that you recall of a time that you saw your mother when you were a young boy only 25 and you remember hearing your mother wail and uh, running out into her her patch where she has flowers and sweet berries and there is uh, a slew of rabbits that look like they have all been hunted out of a warren. Uh, some quite young still. Clearly this wasn't done for food, but by some cunning fox, some sly jackal for sport. And your mother uh, uh, just uh, looks at you crying and tries to find words for uh, what she is experiencing and just looks at you and through her tears says, who would bring death into this garden of life? And as your friends drag you off, you have a sense that on a larger scale, not only the conflict is achieving this in the country of Gildan, but for the first time you realize that you 
have the power and the resolve to do this yourself. And as you guys stumble off into the night, trying to get back to Pendrag's piece to get your things and to find out what to do next with yourselves as you have blown whatever cover you might have. That's where we're going to end for tonight. Oh my lord. Five more minutes, please! No, that was the chunkiest Zode of all time. Yeah. Wow, that was... We we had to do it. We had to do it. Oh, man. I I messaged Victor and I was like, I want the library to be 15 minutes tops. And then I forgot to communicate that to literally anybody else. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry. I no, so no, glad. I didn't. No, it wasn't. It wasn't your fault. I didn't oh, tell you anything. Man. But oh. that uh, ruled. I, I loved that a lot. Uh, I'm sorry that I crit on my modified fireball. Yeah. But I'm also not sorry because everything else went wrong. For me. Yeah. <laughs> that was huge. That's great. I was like, yeah, I have 42 okay. health. Like, this will bring me down to like maybe five. And then like, yeah. it was just perfect. Yeah. Fun fact, you can just split the damage in half, but make half of it bludgeoning and on an attack roll. And then the rest is the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Modify spells. They're a lot of fun. Yeah. That is cards on the table. Had I been a player in a wheel of time setting i would have played like an escaped illuminator who just like hucks off spells <laughs> yeah. but they're fireworks that yeah, would have been that was so yeah 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 man well thank you guys for sticking around that was a long one was Sig- it oh just so significantly longer than anything <laughs> i ever wanted to do by what? like dude that was like an hour longer than what uh, that we... felt like a breeze it felt that like was, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it felt i'm really so qu- sorry it felt it. really quick to me also which is really fun and g- a good sign but also i'm looking at the time i'm like oh is that supposed to say 10 38 oh no oh. Uh, <laughs> so we're gonna wrap it up there if you stuck around thank you so much for watching And if you want to stick around and find out what happens next time as this group of tortured souls uh, (laughs) tries to find the means to escape the city of Jahanna and travel northward to further their goals to learn more about what it is that is happening with channelers in the country of Gildan and to find out where brother number seven? Technically, he's number three. Number three, where the third... Of a million and a half (laughs) has gone off to. You can tune in next week at seven o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Until then, my name is Brad. This has been Who's Taking Watch? The Dragon's Might. (laughs) That was you guys.